absolutely don't care, I am not licking that unless <laughs> you give me some antibiotics. <laughs> he says, I don't care who your mum is. <laughs> True story. Oh. Anyway, she lives next door to now. Hello. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Oh my God! You're all you're already there. Oh, yeah. oh, we've got a lot. Of, we've got to catch up with you nowadays, haven't we? We have. Yeah, they've been chatting on here since I don't know half past three. Let's have a look at you all. Uh, hey, handsome men, how are you both? It's a long time since we were called handsome. I'm looking behind me. See if there's anybody behind me. I can't look behind me tonight. It hurt his back. I've hurt me back. <laughs> I told him not to lift it. It's all in the neck movement tonight for me. I, I can't. I can't swivel because Sean sat so close to me. Well, otherwise, I'm not in shot. And I can't turn. I can't rotate my torso because I've hurt my back. Why have I hurt my back? Lifting disco sex. Let's call it disco, disco sex, sex. Shall we? <laughs> it sounds more exciting than what it actually was, doesn't it? To be honest. Him and our neighbour, Justin, lifted... A cross trainer across the garden An to the barn. Elliptical cross trainer. Shall we tell them the story? Yes, yes. We want to lose a few pounds for the wedding. A few? Because the, the kilts we've ordered were a little bit cheaper if we got kids' sizes, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something to, no do VAT. With, something to do with the VAT. So we ordered slightly smaller <laughs> sizes, but now we have to get into them, and we've got whoa, about five months left to get into them. So we want to lose a little bit of weight. So... <laughs> We, we stumbled upon a very special offer for a, an elliptical cross trainer. Now, Sean can't run or do he heavy weights because of his knees. His knees are knackered. Uh, of, of his dodgy knees. So we had to get something that's, like, low impact. And it's not really good for <coughs> swimming around here because it's a bit cold in winter. Yeah. So we thought, we got, we got this elliptical cross trainer because it's, it's, like, low impact, so it's good for him. And we can both use it and we can uh, trim down a little bit and get into the kid's size kilts for his wedding, can't we? So we, we got it, and the plan was was to put it in one of the barns. But when we got it, we thought, we don't want it in one of the barns. We, we'll put it in the dining room. So we started setting it up in the dining room, and then we realised that the ceiling wasn't high enough. And once we, <laughs> we stepped up on it, we were every time you go up Spaxies, and down... head up ceiling. Yeah, we were banging his head. So now there's hair gel patches in the <clears> dining room, if ever you come round and wonder where it is. Uh, so then we had, we'd already half-assembled it, and it, it weighed about 200 kilos, did this thing. So it's like, how do we get it back out to the barn? And it was uh, there was only like that much at each side to get it back out to the barn. So I we had to take the barn door off. We had to get a neighbour around to help us. And, and it, was, it, was, it was a faff. I think well, he's done his back in as let's well. Let's just say it was a faff. And I've really hurt my back in. And we think the neighbour's hurt his back as well. So so if, if you see me umming and ahhing, that, that, that's why... Uh, DRS Exploring, good evening. How was your week? Uh, my whole week's been brilliant, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Sharon Bamba, evening, just me tonight. Dave's away, but sends you a big sloppy one. What's his excuse? Dave's got a big sloppy one. Is he? Yeah, we'll find out at the wedding, won't we? We will. I hope he washes it before he brings it I into the castle. I don't want a big smelly sloppy one in that castle while we're getting married. No, I don't. No, not even Lewis's. Uh, Spudley, hello, we're actually on time. We're oh, you're here this week? Braunston. We've never been to Braunston. We're in Braunston. Cheers to you. Yes, cheers. That looks vile, doesn't it? That just that looks vile. That is lemonade with actual lemon in it, is that? The froth is the lemon. What's yours, Sean? You can't have that. It's whiskey and lemonade. Show them it. It looks like one of them, uh, what's it called? Dickens Cider. Dickens? <laughs> no, that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it. Dick inside. I am not saying what. <laughs> you know what? You've seen it. So it's, 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 it's proper. It's Australian, isn't it? Called Dick Insider. No. It is. Google it. Google it. It is, honestly. Oh, dear. I once, when I went to see my old French teacher, Mrs. Kip, Mrs. Pickles, I once, I once took her some. Oh. I said, shut your eyes. And when she opened her eyes, I surprised her with a Dick Insider. <laughs> She liked that. A friend of mine on Facebook put a picture of a bottle of wine up. And it, the, the wine is called, and it's a number... Four. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's... Uh. And it's the actual, that's the actual name. Oh, uh, why would you call a wine foreskin? 
I know. Oh, that's vile, Number isn't four, it? and then skins. I might ring Mrs Pickles. Mrs. <laughs> Mrs Pickles. It's been a while. See if she had a dick inside her last <laughs> night. <laughs> Stop it! It's dick, Google it, Dick Insider, it's a thing. Oh. Uh, any, anyway, it's their fault, the Spudleys. Hello, hello, Spudleys. <laughs> uh, Neil Murphy, evening, guys. Oh, Trisha and Neil. Hello. hello. Andrea Adams, hello. Uh, Laura Haber or Harbour, sorry, which whichever way. Uh, Sophia Pond, evening, Colin. Sean, how are the various animals dong? Doing. Do Shows you which, yeah. Read it properly. Animals doing. How, how are they doing? They're going. They're doing good. Uh, hello from a snowy York in Maine. Uh, Alfie Barlow. Alfie Barlow was supposed to be on the vlog tonight, wasn't he? It was. Yeah, but we, you never got round to it, did you? He's probably having a dick insider. For the <gasps> uh, Tony G Giro. Oh, what's that? Reminds me of a. Oh, what does it remind me of? It'll come to me. Will that? Uh, beautiful sunny Kentucky. Nice in Kentucky. I like their fried chicken. I do. I do, actually. <clears throat> uh, Dorby's Travels. Hello. Uh, good evening, Colin, Sean and boys. Miserable weather here, but I know you two will have me laughing and smiling. Well, not tonight. We're going to talk about death tonight, aren't we? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not you to, to ask... What, what? I'm not... Oh, here we go. I'm not something to ask what heavy thing Colin tried to... Well, we said, didn't we? We said, we said we did. it was an elliptical cross He probably trainer. typed that before we said. I think he probably did. Uh, love, love, love that what's in the in Colin's bin theme song. Shh, we haven't played it yet. If, oh, yeah, we have, haven't we? If, on, on YouTube. If you haven't seen it yet, what's in Colin's bin has actually got a jingle. From, It'll come up. From, It'll, be up. It'll be on from later. this week. And we're going to change the rules a little bit, aren't we, of the game? Yeah. We're going to make it... When I worked on the radio, years and years ago, I used to work with a man... I'm not going to say his name, because he might like the publicity and he's not paying for it. Uh, and he used, to, he used to have a game on the radio called What Have I Got In My Hand? No, it did. it's a true story. It's absolute, hand on heart. It used to be called What Have I Got In My Hand? And it worked well in radio, because you could put things that were bigger than your hand in your hand. And because it's radio, people couldn't see them. So we're going to play that. We were going to call it What's Sean Got In His Hand, but we're actually going to do What's In Colin's Bin, and we're, gonna, we're not going to show you what's in it. You've got to guess. Yeah, so that's later. And if you guess, you'll win a prize. We've, we, haven't, we haven't decided what you're going to win yet. No, we haven't. Uh, so don't get your hopes up too much, but it, sh it should be good. And it's you got can have what's left of me glass of whiskey. And it's got a theme song. It's got a theme song, hasn't it? It's got, mm. it's got nice people dancing and a monkey. Uh, yes. It has, yeah. Uh... So anyway, yeah, I look forward to that. Uh, Stuart Forsyth, evening boys from Aberdeen. <laughs> it's just a rubbish Scottish accent. I do, all my accents sound Asian. Is it stormy up your end? Uh, it has been today, yes. It is a little bit now, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, well, did you see that come in then? Yeah. We uh, got a dislike. Greetings from Kent. Hello, GJ. <laughs> not not you, GJ, the disliker. The we, disliker. We, we don't care. Uh, Raheem's uh, Raheem's here with Raheem's the scar. Early. It might, I reckon it's him. I reckon he, he gives us a thumbs down and then sends us a couple of quid as a super chat. <laughs> Playing with his head. Don't you? I bet he'd like to play with his head. Uh, hello, Foxes. How are you? What are you drinking? Uh, I've got a lemonade with lemon and Sean's got dick inside her. Whis whiskey and lemonade. I've got a lemonade and I usually have it just on its own, but it lasts longer. Yeah. What Dave, what's Dave doing on here? Uh, Dave Bamber. She uh, said you weren't here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Whose TV are you watching? Are they going to be sat on opposite sides at wedding now? The, I think they are. Think? He's watching television, but where? Uh, do not Google Dick Insider, some dodgy results. No, Dick Insider, honestly, Google it. It's real. It's real. It, it proper is real. Uh, hi, Colin and Sean. Me again, as Ken Holmes is still away on his... Wow, he's still cruising. Wow. Wow. Uh, Greg Titus, enjoy the video of the bees. They look like they are healthy. They, they are. are. They are healthy, they are. Uh, Raheem, sorry, Super Chat, uh, have you seen the new Doctor Who trailer? Uh, no, I, no, you, you mentioned that last week and I still haven't seen it. I know, I forgot all it's about it. You're busy playing I'm going to have to YouTube it. Playing your roller coaster and smoking, It'll be on YouTube. smoking your goofballs, aren't you? <laughs> That's what you're doing. Uh, can we have a look at Sherlock? I suppose we can have a look at Sherlock.
There you go. <laughs> I hope they found that interesting. <laughs> they like to see our animals. Four ninety nine, please. Go <laughs> we had to charge people to come and look at him, didn't we? No. I think four ninety nine is a good figure. Yeah, for, three seconds. for three seconds. I, I realised you couldn't hear us when we were showing you Sherlock. We, we had to discuss business then. Uh, hello from sunny Spain, says No Sprouts TV. Well, uh, well we're going to have to catch up. We, we're way behind on all these already. Uh, Lynn Bishop, I guys made it home in time. Whew. I hope you get the kettle, the kettle on. I hope you're not out of breath. I've been, I've been, I've been. I've been, I've been, I've been. Yep, What's that? I, I've been uh, craving. Cream chocolate, eggs. Chocolate today. I had, have a guess how many cream eggs I had today. Five. I had five cream eggs today. I bought a box of five and it didn't save me one. You're on a diet? And? The. <laughs> uh, it's stormy up my end too, says Graham Morris. Uh, Angela Buxton, hello you two. Your drinks look a bit suspect. What's the float is in Colin's glass? Has it got alcohol it, in it? It's lemon. No, I've, people are not listening today. They're not, are they? Unless they're switched on a little bit late. Shall we start the countdown and do all this again? No, no, no I won't. can't be bothered. It, it looks a bit, it looks, you know, like when you have a dodgy wee, it looks a bit like that, doesn't it? It does actually, yes. Although I don't wee in my glasses, but I suppose if I did, it would look a little bit like that, a little bit cloudy. It's actually lemonade with real lemon in it. Yes, that's why it's a little bit, a bit cloudy and bitty. I can't have alcohol at the moment. And if I hadn't have cut about 20 minutes of yesterday's vlog out, you would have known why, but I cut, <laughs> I cut it all out. It cut was, it all out. It was, it was supposed to be about bees and Sean making a bench and mental health stuff. And when I was editing it, editing it, I do sound like I've been drinking. Don't you do, I? actually, you do, yes. When I was editing it, it really sounded shit. So I just, I just cut it all out. I didn't yeah. like it. Uh, but now I'm on some tablets. I've, I've restart. You can probably tell I've restarted some tablets. Man, I'm not allowed to drink because it says if I drink, I'll have a seizure and I might die. It does. It actually says that. Uh, and I've checked my stools. They're fine. So you're all right with that. Uh, <laughs> Dave Bamber's in Portsmouth. Dave, ba where's Dave Bamber? He's in Portsmouth. I used to live in Portsmouth many, many years ago. He is. Uh, Claudia Ulrich says, Hi, Sherlock, beautiful owl. Oh, he is a beautiful owl, isn't he? Shall, he is. Shall we, have a, shall we have another look at Sherlock? That is, that's if he's come back. So let's have another look at Sherlock. Bah! <laughs> Oh my god, when did you do that? <laughs> Ages ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, watch the dislikes now. <laughs> that dislike disappeared, that actually. That dislike disappeared. Yeah. Uh, what not to do? Evening, guys. We made it on time. Blowing a hooli over here near Ullapool. Uh, yeah. How many new beehives have you got now? Now, I'm glad you asked that, Rob, because... Uh, we did mention in the vlog yesterday that we had about four or five new beehives. We're not actually getting more bees. We've got enough bees. Uh, it was in part of the bit that I cut out. So I'll explain it in another vlog, but I'll tell you now. Basically what it is, is uh, I'm going to be using the new hives as a method of controlling the colonies I already have. Uh, which means putting hives on top of supers, on top of hives, on top of supers. So they'll be like... Yay, hi. Uh, but I'll explain more about that. So, uh, but there's, there's still 21 hives, maybe 20. We're having a bit of a problem with one of them. Yeah. Uh, but I'll explain that when I know what's going on with it because it might be all right. It might not be all right. Uh, Alfie says, Who wouldn't like a dick insider? <gasps> oh, it's my. She's changed her name again to Younger Sister. She does it on purpose just to taunt me. Hello, it's windy up here as well, sis. Hello from Windy Upton. She want a dick insider. Do you want a dick insider? <laughs> <laughs> what? We ought to get a case and give it away, <laughs> didn't we? Stop. We've got to get it. We're gonna have to get a case of it and give it away. Uh, Raheem's just received a fox as a float hoodie. Raheem. And it's a fantastic. It is a fantastic. It hoodie. is actually. It's so good that we ain't got one yet. No, we. We, we got actually. T-shirts, but actually, we actually can't afford one. No. <laughs> We can't afford. We have to pay for them. We can't afford our own merchandise. That tells What's you. What's now laughing at? Eyes. I think he's laughing at uh, 
at, at, at Sherlock. Alfie's just dropped his takeaway. <laughs> uh, Scotty just spat his drink out. <laughs> You can't scare me with the lights on. Uh, Mrs. Lady Unicorn. Oh, yeah, I nearly dropped my phone. <laughs> Scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Enya Harding says, Hi, Colin and Sean. How long until your wedding? Uh, it's about five months. It's in August this year. Yes. Uh, so it's it's actually not that long now. Uh, uh, Michelle's pooed herself. <laughs> It doesn't take much, does it? No. Uh, <laughs> Kath Kewitt got me good. Uh, GJ's crapped itself. Uh, Kelvin and Kendall just made them jump. Uh, what sorry, are you doing I, down there? I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm just trying to get something on on the iPad uh, that I can show you uh, because Sean doesn't believe that it's real. Uh, so this is Dick Insiders website. So it is an actual. It is an actual company. It is real. Wow, Dick Insider. There you go. <laughs> you didn't believe it, did you? Uh, Madam Jump. You'll have to find that wine. I did. I said. Shall we go back to Sherlock? <laughs> Happening this time. The waiting look, they think I'm gonna appear again. Oh, it didn't happen that time. Oh dear me. <laughs> uh Angela says we're stupid, she just wasted a mouthful of wine. <laughs> uh Steve Fisher, do you pimp Sean out? I was admiring his skills in yesterday's <laughs> vlog. I need to do things with my wood benches in the shed. Do you fancy a little holiday? Uh, what depends where he lives. Where do you leave live, Steve Fisher? Uh, hi, Fenella the Kettle Witch. Hello, Mrs. Witch. High Rise Hives. It's like a bee metropolis. Yes. It is. Uh, James says you can't scare a goth. You want to bet? You want to bet? <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, I didn't have for that time. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mike's just had to change his pants. Uh... I'm not saying anything. She's just being rude. Uh, Freddie says, uh, guess I missed your joke. Oh, don't worry, lots of people miss our jokes. <laughs> <laughs> or just don't get them or don't find just them don't funny. Get or... us. Yeah. Uh, with my who's Oh right, yes, yeah, Steve. Yeah, of course. It's, <sighs> it's Oh uh, yes. What not to it's Rob's 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 other. other yeah, half. yeah, Rob's other half, yeah. Uh, Super Robert Willis. Hi. When you say your name when you don't have spaces between your name, it sounds like you're saying it faster. No, it doesn't. You try it. Super Robert Willis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never been to all the pool. We have we haven't, have we? No. <clears throat> Oh, I say, Marty Vicar. Uh, Kaz Jake's just nearly pucked herself. Oh, what's that? Pucked. She, she pucked herself. Uh, GJ says we're a tease. Oh, are we? I had a bit of a reputation for that when I was a, a young bit younger, wasn't I? Uh, hello, Colin and Sean. How are you both this evening? Uh, we're all right, actually. We're not, not, but not too bad. I've got a bit of a bad back, which is probably going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better. Yes, he's sleeping on his own tonight because he's going to be in agony. Tossing and turning, aren't you? Well, one of the two, probably. Probably. Uh, Raheem, again, some donations to help with it. Thank you so much. You're a, you're a darling. Do you want to see where we're getting married? Shall we show him? Go on, then. Do you want to see a couple of photos of where we're getting married? Take that off. Are you ready for this? We're still not telling you where it is. A lot of you have worked it out anyway, so we're probably going to end up telling you in a couple of weeks anyway. Uh, so we'll show you a couple of photos. Uh, are you ready? Here's photo one. You probably recognise that to me. If you watch a certain TV programme, that's a very a very uh, well-used angle. It is. Of the castle, isn't it? Or is that one? That's from a bit further away. 
Did you did you gather that? I, I, I gathered that unless it's, unless it's taken from the same distance with a a photo a photo a photocopy. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. zoom lens. Yeah. The cow's called Brethin. Brethin. <laughs> it is. No, it is. It's called Brethin. Uh, and the last one. This is my favourite one. Every time we uh, invite people to the wedding, I send them this photo. That's my favourite one. Yeah. The drive looks a bit better. I hope they're going to do the drive a bit better. You can see the drone operator. Can you see him leaning up against the wall with his white T-shirt? Yes, on? I can. I wouldn't do that. I'm more professional <coughs> than that. Where? Uh, we have different cameras, you know. We have this one and we have this one. <coughs> Clever, isn't it? It changes it and I'm never ready. Uh, Steve Grubb, evening chaps. Cheers. It looks like Steve Grubb's on the red wine, doesn't it? It does. Uh, Pete Lewin, hello, gentlemen. Hello... Uh, Corin says, shouldn't jump off the wardrobe. I was swinging from the chandelier, love. What? If, if we had chandeliers. By me ankles. Uh, <laughs> don't ask him about his back, says GJ. What does GJ... Hashtag dramas. What does GJ stand for? I don't know. It'd be better if it were GG, wouldn't it? Because it'd be like a horse then. Uh, Spudley says, we had lovely fish and chips on the front at Ullipool, but that was 25 years ago, so it's possibly not there anymore. I am um, possibly not. Possibly not. Hmm. Uh, Joe Brown thinks I'm gorgeous. No, oh, she's talking about me, Sherlock. No, she's talking about me. Uh, Maggie Tremaine is also talking about me. She says I'm a beautiful location. <laughs> Catherine Apps is also talking about me. She says I'm a stunning venue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kelvin and Kendall say stunning. Well, you're going. Uh, GJ says, wow, Balmoral Castle. <laughs> Can we wish? <laughs> uh, Alistair Hall says, amazing views. Thank you. And Mandy Casson says, hi, guys. Hello, Mandy. Hello. Shall we see what, Steve, what uh, Sherlock's doing? <laughs> Do you know what? I just want to make one thing clear. Uh... I didn't shout in the muse. I actually did that silently and then record, did you? Yeah, recorded the scream in the studio. Ah, that's a good job. And put them together because I didn't want to frighten Sherlock. So before anybody writes in or to points of view or whoever, uh, I did it silently. And as you can see, if you watch it again, turn your volume down, but watch Sherlock's reaction when I do it and you'll understand and believe that I actually didn't scream. He's like, what the fuck? What, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, shaky the gent evening chaps. Colin, do you want a back rub? Oh, yeah. I always want a back rub. Or if you've got big feet, to walk on it. All right, all right. Have to wash his feet. Yeah, please. oh, yeah. No, I've gone right off that. Uh, Greg, oh, it's Greg Jackson. I am as wide as a Shetland pony. Ooh. Some people think I have similar qualities to a pony. <laughs> What? <laughs> Ticks. Ticks. <laughs> A double crown. Hooves. Hooves. <laughs> yeah. You just missed something up there. Uh, Rebus's kittens. Uh, hello. Some food for Sherlock. I am concerned the large rodent we just saw in his cage may get stuck in his throat. Large rodent? Do you think he means me? Yeah. Because there were some chicks in there. Uh, if we go back, let's have a look. If we go back, you can hear me now. There, on the, on where the branch yeah, joins. You can see chicks. You can see a little chick. Oh, he's flying away. You can see a couple of chicks where he was stood. And then you can see a couple of chicks on his little platform. Uh, but they're only little chicks. And, uh, oh, God, he'll, he'll wolf them down in an hour. Yeah. They're, they're probably already gone, to be honest, because it's not really light. Uh, there you go. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Rebus's Rebus kittens. kittens. Uh, Delicacy. Oh, I see what they did there. I did. I in, did. In Ullapool, national award-winning chip shop next to the ferry terminal. Uh, it's still there then. Um, who said it? Uh, Spudley. Spudley said it, yeah. Uh, Wayne and Wayne Etta. Yeah, stop banging into me. Uh, Carl Hancock says, good evening, chaps, from Market Waiton. We've been there, haven't we? Uh, have we? Hmm. Or am I oh, at Market Drayton. I'm confusing with Market Drayton. Turn your phone off. <laughs> uh, evening, gents. From Jenny Sherwood. The best part of the week is here. 
Great to see you both. Who is it? Amazon. All right. We have Amazon up here. Uh, Raheem says we're both stunning. Really? I don't know if he means like good looking. Has he got, has he got his glasses on? Yeah. I mean like when he turns the camera on, it makes people go... Rrr. Rrr. I thought that said John Hurt then. Ah. There we go. Uh, can I charge you for the repair to my pacemaker, says Neil Murphy. <laughs> Absolutely not. If you look in the video description, uh, at about half past nine, it will say to watch out for scare pranks. <laughs> uh, it's daylight in the muse. It's pitch black in Doncaster. Yes, it's dark here now. That wasn't a live shot, but Colin's looking at getting a live shot now. Uh, so... Don't know what he's doing at the moment. That's that wasn't a live shot. This is the live shot of the muse. Yeah, it's dark now. <laughs> he's over on the le the left, right at the back. Yeah, up there somewhere. You can see our house. You can see our lights. Yay! Oh dear. Uh, where are we? Uh, I think I saw that castle on Midsummer Murders. I would play the theme tune, but we're not allowed to play the theme tune. No, we're not. I did check it out. I'm not even allowed to play three seconds of it, or I'll get into trouble. If you go to Ullapool, go to the Archway Pub. It's opposite the ferry landing, and the fish and chips are lush. We might have a trip to there, then. We might have a trip to Ullapool. Yeah, we've, we've not been to Ullapool yet, so we might have a trip up there. Yeah. It's a little bit further north than us. Well, yeah. west. I don't know if we'd need to take the dogs or whether somebody would have the dogs. Yeah. Mm. Ah, uh, pony, the little drink with the big kick. I have no idea what that means. Uh, Gigi's laughing at something. I don't know. Gigi, I'm not Gigi. I know, but I'm going to start calling him Gigi now. Sorry. I hope that's all right, Gigi. <laughs> uh, what? Hello? Uh, Lol, you made our dog Harris jump. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Darren's got a chick. How do you know? Is it fur around his mouth, do you think? That's probably what it probably. is. Probably. Uh, very impressed with your construction skills, says Mandy Cassie. Thank you very much. Uh, Sherlock looking very well. Well, he was earlier. Uh, evening, gents from Inver Coffee. Uh, that's the one. I think it had a Rick Stein recommendation thing in the window. Oh, so they could put the prices up. Uh, yeah. To the Lumen back. Good evening from... I'd love some fish and chips now. Yes, I would. That'd I can't give, have any till next week. It'd give me acid, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd give me acid, would that? Do you get acid? I've, I've had... I get acid a lot. Yeah, but you've got an hiatus hernia. Yeah. You'd think that hiatus hernia means that it's a hernia on hiatus, wouldn't you? That there's actually... Oh, it's all right. I'm not going to do out for a while. I'm not going to bother you. Yeah, you'd think so, but it's not. It's just getting old, I suppose, isn't it? Bodies dropping to bits. What signs do you... like? When did you realise you were getting old? What signs did you have that you were getting old? Everything starts to ache. Mm. Tell and me, click tell and me, snap. What, tell me what your signs were that you were getting old. I think for me, it was... Because I was always fit and healthy, and then all of a sudden I was just like... I got, yeah, it all came, all came at once for got, you, didn't it? I got a kidney stone, and I got a hiatus hernia... All of a sudden, my neck looks like a bucket of foreskins. <laughs> <Doesn't it? laughs> Everything's either sagging or drooping or just don't work. <laughs> Doesn't it? So what's what's your signs? What were the <laughs> what? bucket of foreskins? A bucket of foreskins. <laughs> it does though, doesn't it? Especially that bit there. Look, yeah. yeah look at that. Uh, so what what were it for you that that made you realise you were getting old? Uh, Bill Cameron, a super chat from you. So happy to see you guys finally tying the knot after all these years. Well, we're already married. Yes, we're already married. We're just renewing our vows. Yeah, we just can't. Well, it, it's going to be a proper wedding, and we're going to do all the. Uh, do you take this lovely woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, and will you honour and obey Colin and do everything he says, yeah. all that kind of stuff? And when they talk about lawful impediments, my best mate, hopefully, is going to get his guitar out and start singing it should have been me <laughs> it should have been me <laughs> oh, oh that oh, would be look. hilarious that would in, be hilarious in the coffee's on uh, hello in the coffee we just said in the coffee did we yeah, oh, best did fish and chips I've ever had was in Ullapool well outside Stonehaven anyway we'll have to go up to Ullapool won't we'll have we? to have a trip up mm. uh, Abraham 
says, uh, what do I get to keep my mouth shut about the castle? I took a photo and used Google Lens to look at it. It's actually no secret. Everybody already knows. Yeah, it's not secret. I'm just going to go over to Sherlock Cam because he's just... It's quite windy outside, and he's flapping about. He actually, he he, he does like the wind sometimes. He flaps about. And Depends how cold it is. Plays in it, but if it's really windy, he'll go in his in his little shed. Uh, yes, it is a nice place. That we didn't will, make a difference. We will we will tell people. We will tell people eventually. <clears throat> uh, the Seaforth, the chippy is called. Oh, they're arguing now. They're going to start arguing. I remember pony in bottles. It looks like red wine. Pony in bottles. Eh? I don't understand. You never do. That's oh, that's lovely. That tastes like Kali. You know, I said the other day I've been. Oh, he's back again. Sherlock's back. You know, the other day I said that I'd been craving Kali. Yeah. Where he's looking now, he's basically looking directly into the wind. You can probably see it going over his feathers. He's gonna go again. Yay! <laughs> he loves to have a fly about in there, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. Uh, the last time I went to Ullapool, they had picnic benches opposite the archway. There were a lot of people talking about Ullapool, aren't right, there? Yes. Uh, Kelvin and Kendall, uh, have you he ever had... Have you? Shall I start that again? Start again. Have you ever had people confuse products? My late granddad asked me to get him some of the new Durex batteries. And, of course, he meant Duracell. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Sean, you until he were about forty-five, thought that brown packing tape was green, didn't you? And he kept he kept calling it green tape. Yeah, it's because I'm colour blind. Mm. Uh, Catherine, evening, Colin and Sean. All the pool is good. We're heading further north. Do you? Can you get further north? Are they off to Iceland? I know. They don't want to go to Iceland. There's all sorts of smegma coming out at ground. Not even, isn't there? She's not even at home yet. Not smegma, magma. Smegma. <laughs> I mean, magma. There's all sorts of magma coming out of the ground. Magma. <laughs> She's not even at home yet. Is she not? Oh, hang on, I'm just putting that there. I'm going to I'm gonna have to turn Sherlock off because he's distracting me. Sorry. Uh, evening, Colin Sean. Oh, look, we're heading further north for a break when we get home. Loved your vlog yesterday. Tony says hello. 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 I think it's hiatal. Oh, is it? <laughs> Clever. <laughs> we are guessing at Monarch of the Glen. All right, no, it's ah, not. Ah, right, the castle. Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. He hello, you cheerful fair, fair fairies. I nearly said fairies then. Cheerful fairies. Well, that's what gay means, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, we've had uh, we've had chip shop fish and chips for tea. Oh. Are we stop it with fish and chips now? No, all right. Fancy some of that or a battered sausage. Uh, Kelly McCurdy, this sounds uh, the sounds I make when I'm getting out of bed in the morning. All right, we're talking about getting over. All right, making a moaning noise when standing up. Yeah, I do that all the time. All the time. Uh, <laughs> Jonas is fifty-one. Uh, Claudia's got a kidney stone as well. Oh, Will you, poor Claudia. Yeah, yeah, I feel sorry for you. Uh, Lynn Bishop, you must have a fan base in Doncaster. We, used to, I tell you what, we used to go to Doncaster. All the time. Every weekend. For, every Sunday morning for breakfast. At least every Sunday for a breakfast, didn't we? Yes. Uh, in Starbucks in Frenchgate Centre. We used to be there all the time, didn't we? Uh, go on, you can do this oh, one. My sister, yeah, her eyesight's gone. Yeah, 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 she started to go a bit deaf. So she has, she has help now. Have you got them turned on? Turn them on! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to, like... Like, be another person for a day? No. Wouldn't you? No. I would. Wouldn't you? Because it's like you hear about these people and the conditions and what they do. Wouldn't it be nice to kind of live and just kind of feel how they feel for a day? Because well, you don't know what torture's going on in people's minds. Yeah, but, I mean, it's only for a day, innit? You'd get to experience things like what it feels like to have a poo as a different person. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Strange, insane man. What they really think about other people, like friends of yours and stuff. Strange man. Why is that strange? The poo was another person. What? They'd be jealous. It's all right for you lot. I have to live with you. If him. people were me, they'd, they'd like it because I, I usually kind of when I poo, it's like normally clean first time. So that's that. That'd be a nice surprise if you were me for a day, wouldn't it? Yeah. Having a bat around with it. Uh, Reese's 321. 
I don't think he means that. Uh, Mark Edmondson has either got turkey neck or he's calling me turkey neck. <laughs> uh, GJ, either. I'm not bothered. Bucket of foreskins, told you. Uh, GJ, when you start making noises, getting up out of the chair. Yes. I think we all do that one, don't we? Yeah. Uh, especially me at the moment. Chris Butler, grey hair in his beard. Oh, God, yeah. Wait while you get it. Yeah. Shall I pick one out and show it? Up? No! Don't pick one out. Okay. Uh, having to get both knees replaced. Oh, that's coming for me in a, in a few years. Yeah, that's coming for me. I'm going to have to get myself on the waiting list, I think. Uh, so I Kath, might get it done when I'm 80. Kath says, making noises when she stands up. Yeah, yeah. When we all do that. Out of your mouth or out of your bum? Both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, my dad always called his is heinous hernia. Heinous hernia, heinous. Heinous, yeah. Sandra, when I turn 60, everything is south now. You are both. <laughs> uh, Sharon Bamber says, my neck too. Think of the line from Austin Powers' film that it looks like that. that's what it looks like from certain angles. I can imagine. Sue says everything's heading south. Uh, Jason, weeing in the night, in the toilet, I hope. Sorry, it's lemonade. In the toilet, I hope. Aches and oh, pains yeah, in my joints. Oh, you've got to get up in middle of the night every night now, aren't you, for a pee? Everybody's saying making strange noises when they stand up, so there's a lot a lot doing that, isn't there? Uh, can't do as much physically as I have aged. Yes. I always imagine James as he looks in that profile picture, even though that's not him. Yeah, I do. Mm. Uh, one sign of ageing was me realising all my colleagues were younger... <laughs> Thomas Tomlinson, another wedding guest. When my dad, I used to go out drinking with my dad when we were alive, and all his friends were younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Pony was like cherry brandy. Don't you remember it? No, I don't remember it. I'm missing chocolate tonight. You've had five cream eggs. I know, but I still want more. Uh, I've sent Sean a picture of Pony. Have you? Google Pony Drink, Colin. I think Sean's doing it now. Uh, Steve says, sleeping during the day, arthritis, back pain, you oh, name yes, it, I have it. Oh, yes, I remember it now. Do you remember it? I remember it now, sis, yeah. Sleeping during the day. Oh, not uh, every day, but I do like to have a nap in the afternoon. Arthritis. Oh, God, yes. Back pain. <laughs> you name it, I have it. Yeah, same here. We, name it, we've got it. Uh, dry vagina. A dry vagina. I bet he ain't got a dry vagina. I've got the male equivalent. Have you? <laughs> yes. Which which After end? After my prostate cancer. All oh, right. It's not... <laughs> yeah. Getting up for the toilet during the night is the worst. Oh yeah, yeah. You well, lay there thinking, oh god, I've a stopped, bit longer. I've stopped drinking after like five, six o'clock now, and I don't get. I, I it's very rare I get up yeah, in the night for a week. That don't work for me. Hmm. Uh, Laurie Grant, I to my favourite couple. I don't know who she's talking about. It must be them next door. Fran and Rich, maybe. Maybe. I think she's, they're our favourite couple, aren't they? Well, they're our favourite. After Pat and Mick. After Pat and Mick. And all the other couples that are invited to the wedding. <laughs> Jesus. I have to be careful. Uh, the best fans come from Doncaster. They do. I think there's a factory that makes them, isn't there? I think there is. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's in Bentley. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know what Collie means. It'd be interesting to know how somebody else experiences normal thing. I think that's right. Yes, I'd like to. There's a couple. There's a couple of people I'd like to be inside for a day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Wouldn't you? Just just to experience what life's like for for them. Oh. I would love to be cloned into a younger body. Now, this, I think this is, this, is, this is the point when we'll look back on this vlog and say, this is when it started turning a little bit weird. <laughs> when it, that I wanted to be inside yeah. people for a, yeah. a day. <laughs> Who would, I would love to be cloned into a younger body. I, actually, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I would change me at all at the moment. I wouldn't change me. Mm. Uh, Colin is strange, but strange is good. I think it's, I think it's right. Uh, Joanne Craven, hello, good evening to you both. Hello, Joanne. Hello. Uh, Wicked Lizard said, I'd like to be a guy for a day so I could pee standing up. I know lots of girls that pee standing up. <laughs> what? I was going to say something, but I can't. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're, we're just going to mute you for a second. All right. 
<laughs> I can't say that. No, we can't say that. No. <laughs> uh, Maggie Tremaine says, my knees do snap, crackle and pop. It's do as well. Yeah, mine well, do. mainly just crackle and pop now, aren't yeah. they? The, the snapping's kind of stopped. Uh, Kaz says, I have a deep voice for a woman and I ate it. I said to my elderly mum, I ate my deep throat. I could have died. <laughs> Oh, Kaz, that's brilliant. Kaz, that's brilliant. <laughs> uh, Dar says, I'll be 61 in April. Where did the time go? I still feel 19. Hubby and I are celebrating our 42nd wedding anniversary. Awesome. Oh, give him a clap for that. That's ace, is that, isn't it? It is true that time just disappears, Yeah, it? it goes too quick. Yeah. Uh, Brenda says, I've often thought how great it would be if my husband could live one day as me and vice versa. I imagine it would really help us understand one another. I think a lot of couples would do that. I wouldn't wish Sean to be in my head for a day. Uh, too many secrets. <gasps> no, no, they're in. You know, <laughs> just the demons. I won't want to be there. Uh, Mark says, farting while walking. Sign is getting older. Oh, yeah. Uh, while in step as well. Mm. Uh, Mr. Bob says, hi guys, I've been diagnosed with what's called a staghorn stone, about the size of a small Brussels sprout. I hope I'm not going to have to... You won't pass it. I'll tell you what, your, 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 ureter, shockingly big. your ureter is only two millimetres wide, so it's, it's not going to come out of that. They'll have to break that one up. Oh, That's dear. not going to be pleasant. It will. Uh, Miss, Miss Perception says, I also suffer with anxiety. Do you have any really good tips to help? Do you know what? I, I actually don't, because I've been battling it for 50 odd years yes and i think i think i think the key to tackling anxiety is to understand where it stems from what triggers it and what works for you uh and a lot everybody is different so what works from the the things that cause my anxiety wouldn't cause somebody else's and it's all it's all really weird. I think it's it's a journey. I'm fifty one and I'm I still probably don't do really well controlling it. Although I am on some tablets now that are taking the edge off it a little bit and they seem to be that seems to be good. Not it's not getting rid of it, but just taking the edge off it is making a huge difference. Does that make sense? Mm. That it's not making a huge difference, but it's just taking the edge off it, but just taking the edge off makes a huge difference. Yeah. How I get on with them, I don't know. I've only been taking them for about two weeks, if that. So I've probably got another four or five weeks before I understand what, what they're going to do to me. But I think just doing whatever uh, helps. And there is... I tell you what, you've got to accept that there is no kind of silver bullet. There's nothing out there that will just make it better. Uh, and it's a journey and it's about learning and just doing... I don't, I, I hate, I don't, ugh. it's horrible because I know there's so many people out there and I want to be able to help everybody and say, oh yeah, do this, do this. But and, you can't, because everybody's different. Yeah, and I think just talking about it probably makes it better. Yeah. But uh, but just just try everything. Just, yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to cut you off now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Uh, have to shuffle to the edge of the sofa before standing up. Says Suzanne. I'm doing uh, yeah. that at the moment. Uh, Marcy's hip makes a clicking sound. Just your hip. Everything. What if that person had piles, Colin? That would be the poo I'd not want to experience. I think <sighs> piles is another sign of aging, isn't it? You had your first proper one not long ago, didn't you? That's because I had bad guts and it just sort of. No, it weren't. No, it weren't nice. It's gone now. Hmm. Uh, Sudden cramps. Sudden cramps. Yes. Increased flatulence. We're learning a lot about our viewers tonight, aren't we, really? Uh, I'm surprised Colin agreed to have the door closed this week. Why? Huh? Oh, yeah, increased flatulence. Oh, increased, yes. Uh, Pat and Mick are mode with us. I'll tell Yay! them you're on. Yay! Pat and Eileen, go get them. <laughs> Uh, Colin wants to be Lady Gaga. No, he doesn't. Not at all. Uh, Col would Colin like to be in Justin Bieber? <laughs> we all know what you mean. Nobody wants to be Alfie Barlow for the day. Oh, poor Alfie. 
Does anybody want to be inside Alfie Barlow for a day? <laughs> right, let's make Alfie feel a little bit better about himself. He's had some dick insider. <laughs> now, he wants some dick insider, but now let's find out if anybody wants to be inside him for a day. Shall we? You all right? Have you taken your tablet? Oh, God. It... Oh, it's just so naughty. Yeah, blah, blah. Uh, Ted Barnett. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the Ted, super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Evening to you. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Uh, Stephanie, is that Willie or Wiley? I think it's Willie, isn't it? Willie. Hello, Foxes from Stephanie in Michigan. Hello, Hello. in Michigan, the United States of America. Uh, Mike says, I am 69 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Mike. What's, how good, see how good Sean's maths is. What's 69 plus 69? A meal for four. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to work it out, weren't you? <laughs> I would do it 70 plus 70 yeah. minus 2. 160, 138. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Mike. Uh, there Alist you go, Alfie. Uh, Alistair Holes. Hello, Alfie. How are you this evening? <laughs> uh, Graham Morris's knee predicts the weather. Yes. I think a few peoples do that, don't they? Yes. Uh, Carl says, now I'm 60, it's easier to we sat down. <laughs> he does that as well, doesn't he? Uh, Mr. Especially Mirka. when I get up in the middle of the night. I braved the shave today for cancer. Uh, Macmillan Cancer Relief. Awesome. Shaved head, beard and eyebrows. Oh, eyebrows as well, wow. Well done. That's brilliant. Well done. Well done. You can have the clap. There you go. Uh, now it's, it's, it's signs I'm getting older. Wake up with an... What well, We don't know what that says. Ache. I think it says ache. Ah, right. And wonder whether it will be better... Or that's just how it will be from now on. It's how it is. Yeah, I think I think we're learning that, aren't we? It's how it is. You wake up with an ache and that's it. You've got it for the rest of your life. Kelvin Kendall, I fart and belch when bending over. The doctor found it hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when that happened to me. He farted in a young woman doctor's face. <laughs> Honestly. It, it was when I ripped the... Uh, Cartilage in me left knee, weren't it? Yeah. And I hobbled in with crutches and my arm round Colin into the doctor's and she says, can you stand up? And she got hold of my waist to lift me and it hurt and I went... <laughs> she says, I've seen worse. <laughs> Are you just farted as well? No, I haven't. I can smell fart. It's not me. Uh, Michael Brown says, my worst nightmare, coming back as a spider, but knowing I was once a human and seeing myself in a mirror. You, but you might, you might be attracted to spiders if you were a spider, wouldn't you? Ooh. Uh, James says, I've had loads of treatments, none have worked. Same here. Mm. I, I, I don't think they do work. Nana naps are needed these days. They are. <laughs> uh, flat as 46, here we go. At 72, everything that used to be subtle is now stiff. Sadly, the bits that were stiff are now supple. <laughs> Two years younger than Mick Jagger. Brilliant, yes. Dear me. Oh. Uh, Claudia would like to be Alfie. Yes. Oh, you think? Oh, she's just saying hello to you, Alfie. Uh, and talking of mental health, any progress on the podcast? Still working on it. I'm just so busy, busy. at the moment and the bees are coming and yeah. we've had to start working on the sheds if you've watched yesterday's vlog. But we'll get there eventually, or he, or he will. Yep. Uh, absolutely not, says Alfie. I don't, I don't know what. Absolutely not. Absolutely not what. He don't want a dick insider, I think. Oh right. I don't. I don't know. Uh, Pardon me. <laughs> uh, Philip Izzard says my whole body aches and arthritis everywhere in the hands and joints. Oh, God, my thumbs are terrible. Uh, hello, Michael in Manchester. Hello. Uh, Dwayne's turning into a fatopotamus. A fatopotamus. I like that word. Uh, Lorraine says, always look for the silver lining in life. Laughter is the best. I am 70 and still loving, laugh, uh, still love laughing. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Chris and Mary Downs. Hello, Chris and Mary. Evening both. Himself started without me to... That's not on. That's just not on. And you were listening to a relaxation recording. That's not on. I don't understand why... You say that that's not on. This should be here, 7 o'clock on the dot. I know, himself started without me. You finished without me loads of times. <laughs> I never complained about it. 
Do you want me to do out? No, go and put kettle on. I'll finish. <laughs> I'll be all right. Do you want me to shut bedroom door? Or? No, you're all right. <laughs> oh, you stop it. You can't say things like that. I just did. Oh. 77, you get eight more. <clears throat> We get eight more. We're so far behind, I think, on this. I think we are, yes. Uh, no applause with the yet at the end of it. I don't know where he's gone. I think he's gone to one of the other channels now. I think I think he probably has, I think yes. he's shouting yeah on one of the other channels now. Uh, so many of the actors of Dynasty and the Colbys were gorgeous. Hey. Okay. Do you know what we need? We need like a tumbleweed sound effect, don't we? <laughs> You should get a little video of tumbleweed that goes across the screen. <laughs> I think Claudia wants Alfie's Dickens cider. Oh. It says Dickens cider. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't, uh, yeah. Catherine, uh, hello from both of us. Getting older is great fun despite all the creaks. I thought that said cakes then. I think that's because subconsciously I'm actually craving cake. Yeah. Aches and aging pains. Just keep laughter going. It, you've just got to keep laughing. When Sean had his prostate cancer, we actually had a lot of laughs, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And I think the thing is, you just get on with it, don't you? You, you don't. You've got to. Yeah. I, I think Cla I think Claudia's um, replied to Carl. I think I think Claudia and 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 Alfie and Carl have got something going on here. <laughs> uh, Calling us interrupt us. That was from, a, that was from a, a, a vlog a couple of weeks ago. Wasn't yes. Oh, uh, dear. Right. Shall we play a new game? Oh. Shall we? Go on, then. We're going to play What's in Colin's Bin. But it's a little bit different this week. And we're going to tell you why it's different. I don't know. I, I, I'm just scared to play the jingle. <laughs> Shall we play the jingle? Are you ready for this? Roll it! We've got a, we've got a jingle for what's in Colin's bin. What's in Colin's bin? <laughs> Madness. Madness. How cool is that? Madness. How cool is it's that? Bizarre. How cool is that? <laughs> What's in college? Oh. <laughs> You've been drinking bong water again, haven't you? I tell you what I need. I'm going to talk through the bin because it sounds like I'm talking in a cave then. I tell you what I need. I need one of those uh, glittery jackets that the, the, the quiz hosts wear. Oh, you mean what Stephen Mulhern wears? Yeah, I want something like that. I'm going to have to put it on really quick while the jingle's playing, aren't I? Right, so... Uh... <laughs> People are loving the jingle. <laughs> so we are changing the rules very slightly on what's in Colin's bin. We are actually going to start giving away prizes, all right? So we're going to give away a prize. I am not going to show you what's in Colin's bin. You've got to guess. But I will give it a shake. Have a look. Oh, my God. You've got to guess what's in Colin's bin. So how does it work? Okay, I'm not going to show you. You can ask as many questions as you want, but I can only answer yes or no to the questions. All right, I can't give you any details. I can only say yes or no. So there's no point in just diving straight in and trying to guess. You could guess, is it made of this? Is it used for this? Is it vlog? Do you know what I mean? So you can ask whatever questions you want and I will say yes or no. And then the first person to guess it right We'll win a prize. There you go. I think we'll either give away a jar of our short of Sean's homemade marmalade, yeah, or a photo book. 
Uh, yes. Yeah, whichever you want. Because uh, we might not be able to send marmalade abroad. So if it's yes. in, in the UK, we'll send you some marmalade. If or a book, if, or, you, if your choice. Or a book. If it's abroad, then we'll send you a book. All right, so what is in Collins' bin? Uh, right, so let's go back. Uh, is it something from the special cupboard? Yes, Dave Greenwood. <laughs> <laughs> is it wrappers of chocolate eggs? No. Is it an empty bottle of water? No. Is it a dog toy? No. Time out bar? No. Is it a stapler? No. Cream egg wrappers? No. Is it a tin? No. Uh, whole cream egg? No. Ping pong balls? No. Is it plastic? No. No. Five no, cream not. egg wrappers? No. Rubik's Cube? No, the Rubik's Cube is there. It's there. Uh, does it involve food? No. Uh, is it plastic? No. Is it in a box? No. no. Can you wear it? Yes. Yes. Something classy? No. A coconut? No. Is it plastic? No. Freddo's? No. Is it edible? No. Is it something that's been used up and can't be refilled? No. Oh. Empty bottle of lemonade? No. Is it made of silicon? No. Stapler, no. Was it sitting on your desk last week? No. Is it a sonic screwdriver? No. no. Chewed up trainer? No. Uh, I don't know what that means, but no. Did it once contain loop? No. Is it made of cardboard? No. Is it one thing? Yes. Freddo's? No. Does it need batteries? No. Is it bigger than two inches? Yes. <laughs> Can you eat it? No. Is it longer than nine inches? Uh, no. I don't know actually. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna measure it. Careful. Yeah. They can see. They can't see. They're all looking they're all looking in the bottom left hand corner of the TV. It is. Exactly nine inches. I know we said we can't say yes or no. So is it longer than nine inches? No. Is it made of rubber? No. no. Is it organic? No. Uh, Freddo's? No. Is it a bottle? No. Is it made of silicon? No. Is it wool? No. <gasps> Sharon Bamba, congratulations. It is a pair of handcuffs. What's in Colin's bin? It is indeed. How did you get that, Sharon? It is indeed a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> well Brilliant. done. Well done. Oh, I love what's in Colin's I bin. Do. You'll have to tell us what you want and then I'll be in touch with you. I love what's in Colin's bin. Well Yay. done, well done, Sharon. Uh, you have to let us know whether you want some marmalade or you want a photo book. Yeah, just let, let me know and then I'll be in touch. I like that. That was good, that. I like that. We'll do that again. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Remus and Kittens, congratulations, Sharon. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, well done, Sharon. Congratulations, Sharon. Same from Alfie. Uh, Raheem as well. Uh, look a bit rusty, those handcuffs. No, they're not, they're not rusty. Congratulations, great job. Everybody congratulating you. Uh, she says, some of your marmalade would be awesome. Great, I'll be in touch. Or you can... Yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch with you for your address. In fact, have you... Have, we've got your email address because... Oh, yeah, we've got uh, your email address. Coming to the wedding, so... Yes, we'll, I'll, I'll email you tomorrow. We'll email that address that's, uh, that's there. Yes. Uh, Michael, arrest me, please. Uh, RB, did you lose the key? No, we haven't. <laughs> are they used ones? Of course, of course they get used. Just proper handcuffs, these. These are not the cheap things you get off Love Honey. West Yorkshire Police have got a pair missing. They have. I tell you. Oh, when, Curry, they put him, when, they, when they put them on Colin, he did a runner. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. That's not true. 
Oh dear. Did you like that? Did you like that better than the normal? I, I like the that dancing. better than the normal. What's in Collins' bin? Yeah, we're uh, going to have to think of other things as well to do. I, s- I still think uh, what has Sean got in his hand could be good. Dear. Yeah. Uh, there's. I an- haven't got big hands though. There's another one. Uh, the fat, but not big. There's another game that I thought we could play, which is called "Don't Make Me Laugh," uh, which is where they have to. Or one of us has to tell the other one a joke or something funny and you're not allowed to laugh. Oh, I can do that easy. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. I've been looking on TikTok. TikTok? Yeah, and I found some <coughs> I found some bangers. <laughs> some bangers? Yeah. Uh, Vivian Ewing says, love the music and the idea of Colin's bin. Uh, so, yeah, it, the... the, 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 the the, the jingle is thanks to the guy who does our jingles on Mind Station, yes. uh, which is our radio station. Mm, mm, are, we on, keep, sorry. are we keeping you up? Excuse me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you probably recognise the voice. He does all the jingles on, on Mind Station. Uh, the video, I did the video, to be honest. I just got all the neighbours round and said... Uh, <laughs> all do, the neighbours. Do a little jig. We yeah, got that many neighbours. Well, yeah, we had to bus a few in, <laughs> didn't we? To be honest, uh, right? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm You've pres- got all sorts on there. I've got all sorts going out, and we'll t- we'll take these off. Ah, dear. I think we should have a knack an interval now. We should. We, we should, should. I need a. I need to sit down. We should. Play, I've, oh, I've sat down. We should play a song. Uh, you two would fail so badly at not laughing. I think. Yeah, I, d- I think. I think that's probably right. Uh, can we? Well, it depends on the jokes you see because yeah, it does. My sense of humour is quite dark. It's and a bit I, twisted. I, I kind of believe not twisted. Just uh, yes, it is. I think. I think. I think. Me, me, and a good friend of mine called Tom uh, share some jokes privately. Tom and, from Tom from Beverly. Yeah, and I, th- I think it's it's like a dark sense of humour, but I, I, I think it's like I think you've got to laugh at life. Yes, that's true. And we never ridicule. <laughs> We're never mean to people, but I think no. I think you should be able to laugh at life. Yes, I think that's it. Uh, my husband's been playing that game for years. Are we still talking about telling jokes <laughs> or or the handcuffs? <laughs> uh, Steve says I've worked out how I can have a smoking hot body at my age. Sadly, it's cremation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, somebody says they're hearing us twice. Sound has gone funny. You t- let us know if the sound has gone funny. According to our system, it's fine, but let us know. Uh, James, hello, thank you. Hello, James. Anything again? you need, uh, we will be spending that on B things. But yes, because B things are a priority at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, we've got to get lots of uh, lots of B things. Hebrides Wooden Boat says, how did you like your first Highland winter? It's our third. It's our, this is our third winter yeah, in, we, in the Highlands. We did, uh, November, we did winter 21, winter 22, and winter 23. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We moved here winter 21. Yep. Yeah, November win, November 21. Right smack bang in as winter started. Yeah. That uh, sound is fine. Thank you. It must be your settings. It must be your settings. Shut it down and start it up again. Job 37. Uh, the jingle for What's in Collins Bin is better than Wheel of Fortune, says Alistair, Alistair Holes. Uh, sound fine. Good. Everybody's saying sound is fine. That's brilliant. Uh, Lynn Bishop, did you get the Thorns voucher? Yes, did you not get an email? I sent everybody an email saying thank you. Yes. And asking for uh, what you would like on, the, on your hive. So... Email me again because I, I'm sure I've emailed everybody. Uh, so if I've not, email me and let me know. Yep. Uh, Ist. Ist. I think he's drinking whiskey. I think he is. Or he's out on his wooden boat and he's lost Hebrides internet. Hebrides wooden boats is drunk, going between the islands on his boat. And he's losing signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's finished it off, look. Yay! Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Enya says, you need your own TV show. They keep asking. Yeah. They keep asking and offering, but so no, We don't want to lose control. No, thank you. We're quite happy with what we've got. I don't know why I keep pointing at the Rubik's Cube. We're quite happy with what we've got here. Thank we you. Are. Uh, 
We like to keep it simple and look, and, and look after things. Uh, if you're hearing things twice, you might have two windows open. Possible. Says Bonsolver. Uh, Scottish men are so handsome. We're well, not Scottish. Obviously don't live where we live then. <laughs> Well, come on, see if we can name them all on the handsome ones. All oh, right. <laughs> I'm stuck. They're all lovely. You're all, all lovely. lovely. You're We're all only joking. Lovely. Uh, hello from the great state of Kansas. Why is it great? Why is Kansas great? Isn't that where Dorothy came from? It is. Where they have all that windy weather. It is. And the tornadoes. It and is. Stuff. Uh, Ling's checking her email. Get your email checked, Lynn. Yep, I'm sure I sent something. Uh, happy Easter, Advance Foxes. When is it Easter? I think it's, it's not for a. I actually don't know. Is it next weekend or the I weekend don't know. after? I'm I know not... the clocks change next week. I'm not sure. Uh, e Ray Man wearing. Can... Oh, sorry, you're not talking to us. Oh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll let you get on with that. <laughs> Uh, Raheem says uh, we're very lovely. We're not Scottish, though, are we? We're not Scottish. No, we're Yorkshire folk, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yorkshire folk. Yorkshire born, Yorkshire bred, strong in arm, daft in the head. <laughs> <laughs> that got a dislike. Uh, uh, where are we? Somebody giving football results out. Who's what? Um, what? Uh, Maggie says, agreed, Colin. Sometimes I love to say a really inappropriate things. I love the shock value. Sean does when he walks into Tesco's and shouts <laughs> penis, don't you? Penis? Yeah. I just walk, walk up to the checkout with my trolley and all that's in it is a cucumber and a jar of Vaseline. <laughs> you always go to the young lads as well on the checkouts, don't you? <laughs> well, I just like to see the faces. <gasps> <laughs> You think I'm kidding? You think you think he's making these things up? I have yet. What? I go to self checkout. We all know that. Easter is Good Friday, so will you be doing a live next Saturday? I think we are. If I, we are. I think we're doing our Easter egg. Hunt. We just didn't know which e weekend Easter was, did we? Yeah. That's right. We will be having an Easter special. Um, Are we? Yeah, but we, we, we're doing a spin because everybody has an Easter egg hunt, don't they? So we're going we're gonna to rename ours because Easter eggs are made out of chocolate, aren't they? So we're going to have a choc hunt. <laughs> we're going to have an Easter egg choc hunt, aren't we? <laughs> well... <laughs> Stop it. I'm not telling you where we're hiding the eggs. <laughs> But you have to eat them out of places rather than find them. Oh dear! That's going to be ace, isn't it? Otis is playing as well. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> the foxes are surprisingly handsome for Yorkshire men. Well, Leeds last says they up, so uh, hey up. Uh, there's a Yorkshire thing going on as well, isn't there? Uh, Easter's next weekend. Oh right, uh, we did, I didn't know. We didn't know that. Says Corin and Rebecca and Alfie. Uh, next weekend, uh, Alfie will be in Skeggy. So if anybody wants to go and be inside Alfie for a day, you know where he's going to be. He's going to be in Skeggy. Skegness, his caravan. Uh, pair of Yorkshire puddings. Yes. Oh yes, please. We had such Yorkshire puddings for ages. We had we? Yorkshire puddings for ages. Uh, clocks go forward Easter Sunday. They do. They do. They actually do. Greetings from Cal Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves. Oh. The Jim Reeves. My granddad Sing used to like song. him. I used to play his records on hospital radio. Uh, it's important to self-check out, guy. It is, isn't it? Uh, he could go in and shout Rocky Mountain Oysters, says Dwayne. I don't understand that. I have no idea. Lost. Absolutely no idea. Uh, I'd love a toy boy at my age, says Michael John Dennis. I bet he's 33. <laughs> Ooh. Put the handcuffs on Sean while he's in Tesco. Well, you've led me round Asda wearing a, a collar and lead, haven't you, a few times? No. No, he hasn't. He actually <laughs> hasn't. Uh, Pat and Mick have the same trouble as we had previously. They're sending comments, but they're not appearing. Oh, really? Can you fix them? Uh, well, I probably can, but it would mean that Sean has got to, uh, yeah, uh, yes, 
and no. Sean's going to do some comments, and I'm, I'm going to try do and some fix comments, it. and he's going to fix it. Can you fix it on there? I can probably fix it on here. Yeah. Right. We're we're going to fix it. Alistair Hall says Sean's turning pink. I'm not turning pink. I'm turning red. Absolutely red. Check out the hot. Checking out the hot men in Tesco's. Oh no, Michael, I don't do that. It's, it's, it's very rare I go to Tesco's, actually. We used to get a delivery, don't we? Mm -hmm. Alfie Barlow says, Alfie Barlow says they've got to find him first. I know your address, Alfie. <laughs> shall, I, shall I put it on here? Shall, shall I put it on here? The caravan park. Yeah, the caravan park, Skeggy. That's where he is. Hope you make your own Yorkshire pudding, says Scotty Gibson. Uh, <laughs> have you fixed it? No, I can't. I can't do it on the iPad. All right, and I can't do it on here while this is open. No, you can't. So uh, what I might have to do is I, 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 right. I might be able to do something, but I've got to do this. All right, that's okay. So Sean's going to entertain you. How the hell am I going to entertain him? Just, just talk about stuff. Tell them what you had for breakfast this morning. Porridge. Right. <laughs> Tell them what you're having for breakfast tomorrow morning. <laughs> porridge. <laughs> I'm having porridge tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So, oh, he's typing it in our narrow boat. Quest. There it is. Look. Oh, it's fixed. You need to save that now, don't you? I'm doing stuff. There you go. It right. should be fixed. It should be done now. It should be done. So uh, you'll have to try again now. Uh, if I close this window, it might all go black. Yeah, don't close. Don't close. It's gone. <laughs> right. Where are we? Uh, blah, 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 blah. You'll have to find me first. Did we do Lorraine Birch? We didn't do Lorraine Birch. Talking about getting crap, cramp. Uh, when getting older, my boyfriend once got it really bad in his legs and he rolled off the settee. And then rolled around the floor in agony. I hummed Mission Impossible. <laughs> I get cramp in my left leg if mm. I'm sat here too long. And it's... Uh, Hebrides Wooden Boat says, any trips planned this summer? Yes, we, 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 Ooh, yes. we've got a few. We, we're coming west a little bit. So if you want to give us a wooden boat. That would be good, wouldn't it? It would be good, yeah. You'd have to email us. Yeah, email us. We'll, mm. come, on, we'll come on a trip on one of your wooden boats. Mm. Uh, Claire Cuthbert says, I'm hoping for good Wi-Fi for next week's Saturday Live. We will be trying to join you from the Monumbrek Canal. Ah, right. Good luck getting mm, Wi-Fi down <laughs> yes, there. The internet's not good there. We, we know. Yeah, what we've heard. Like yeah, we've heard. Uh, Michael John Dennis isn't 33, he's 53. 53? Yeah. Uh, hello from Canada Foxes, from Sydney and Todd. Sorry for those angry Canadian geese we export. Canada get oh they're noisy boys. Oh yeah, we used to get them all. Well, they're about around here a lot, aren't they? But luckily not, not near the house. No, we don't. We don't get them here. Uh, but uh, yeah, Mainly we used to get them a the lot gun. on the canals. Yeah, the gun stops most of them. To be fair, the the guns. Mm. Uh, Vivian Ewing says, uh, in Pacific Northwest Washington State, already advanced. Like, yes, you're on daylight saving. Yes, already, you're on it you? already. Yeah. Uh, Colin can't, but Bob the Builder can. I think I think we're falling behind. I again, think we've aren't fallen we? behind. Uh, a few likes to play. I do, we, we're missing out now. Yeah, Will you are. be watching the new Doctor Who? Uh, yes, I, I'm going to give it a go. I wasn't impressed with the start of it. So uh, I'm going to give it a go. Jane says, my husband's a Yorkshireman. He's got short arms and deep pockets. We all have. We all have. You know? All Yorkshiremen yeah. have. Are you ready for this? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we fixed it for you. Don't know why it does that. It did it with Spudley as well. Yeah. Uh, if anybody else comments and your comments don't appear or we just never read them out or you don't see them on the wall or whatever, uh, get in touch because there is a known problem. Uh, and we we found a way to fix that. Yes. We, we don't block these people. I mean, you would know that we would never block uh, our Pat, Pat very and Eileen. very good friends. Uh, so yeah, there is a thing that we can do to fix it, uh, and 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 it's quite easy. Looking forward to seeing you both in uh, at our wedding. Mm, yeah. Oh, Pat and Eileen. There fans you go, are right, Pat and Eileen. 
See, we are good at something sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Narrowboat Spudley, uh, the last I heard, a near about a thousand subscribers. I don't know if you've. Uh, yes, that's what I. That's what I hear. I saw the tweet. I don't know if you've crossed that threshold yet. Have you crossed it yet? Uh, Todd says Sydney says you need to look up a song called Little Goose Poops. Why? <laughs> don't we have enough shit to put up with? <laughs> Hello from Appley Bridge. In fact, big hello from Appley Bridge. Appley Bridge. Bridge. We remember that. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I'll take you out on, on the one on my profile. No Ooh, problem. Look. I'll email you. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That's good. Uh, no spoilers, darling. North America is well behind Britain on Doctor Who rollout. Oh, we know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting windy again. Uh, oh, painted man tattoo. Evening sunbeams, better late than ever. How's your back? How's your back from helping Colin know. lift? Why are we shouting? The cross train. <laughs> yes, he's, how's your back? He's got he's a bad back, neck, no, back his and ears. shoulder. His ears are fine, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. How's how's the how's the visitors? Are you okay? They've got visitors. Why are you talking to him like he's eighty? You'll be cutting his because food he's up. Because he's back lifting that thing with you. Next time they come for a takeaway, you'll be cutting his food up for him. I'll, I'll have to cut his up because his back's gone. Uh, my aunt says that I'm man mad. Man mad? Mm. Uh, not there yet. If it's meant to be, it'll happen sometime. Narrowboat Spudley needs some subscribers. Yes. Uh, so subscribe to the channel. Uh, I don't believe it costs you anything, but you never know with them two. <laughs> he likes his whiskey, so it might cost you a whiskey. So subscribe to Narrowboat then. But even more importantly, uh, subscribe to our Narrowboat Quest. Yes, subscribe to them as well because they're back. Mm, they're good. They've been away for a couple of years and now they're back on YouTube. We like our Narrowboat Quest. Yes, we do. We caught up on yours the other day. Hello and welcome to our vlog. Yes. You join us on a... Rainy day. Rainy day today. <laughs> rainy day. I, I keep looking at the light instead of you. A rainy day today. Yes. Where are we, honey? Where are we, honey? I love that. Yeah, and that would have mega so, corner you went round the other on the last vlog, wasn't it? So many catchphrases. The, yeah, that corner. I don't know how you got there. On the, I thought you were going to hit that young lad in that rowing yeah, boat. Yeah, I did. I was like, I was actually secretly thinking, you got to watch our narrowboat quest last vlog to know what we're talking about. But they basically go around this corner, and it's very, very sharp. Is this corner? And there's a moment where you actually think, no, Pat, just throw it in full throttle forward and <laughs> smash that little boat. <laughs> You were thinking it too, weren't you? Just throw it in. You can always say at, at, at the inquest that it were a mistake. Yeah, I slipped. My hand slipped, yeah. Uh, Peter Matt says, that, luckily I'm indestructible, but the visitors are hard work. Not watch <laughs> They're not watching, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Sean's how, Sean, how's the pub quiz team going on? Oh, that's, yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the, me and the painted man tattoo and his wife. We uh, we don't do very well. <laughs> we never do very well. We usually drink too much and get the wrong answers. And there's another one on the thirtieth, I think. Mm. So we'll be going. To, we'll be going again, Justin. Oh, I can't. How do you do the heart with your fingers? Like that. That's, like that. That's scissor sisters, isn't it? Like. Like that. I don't know. That's I can't do it because my thumbs it? don't. Scissors! <laughs> Is it? I know it's not that, and I know it's not that one. It's, it's, I can't do it. You know what we mean, anyway. We, yeah, you know what we mean. Are your babies fast asleep? We don't have any babies. Uh, my mum used to call that the time of month. Having visitors. Oh, right. <laughs> is that, is that all, what also means got the painters in? Is that the same thing? I've no idea. I'm sure get got the painters in or the builders or something. I've no idea. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, they're all here. We're an awesome quiz team. Yeah, we are an awesome quiz no, team, aren't we, Justin? No, you you actually everybody in our town knows that you're not. <laughs> don't they? They even talk about it in Otter's Crotch. They do. Don't they? Otter's Crotch. <laughs> Couch. Thanks, Alan Gowood, for subscribing. Well, we've got them one. Oh, we got you one, did we? Well, they've got one and we're taking credit for it. Yeah, we are taking credit for that. There you go. Uh, Colin was doing heart surgery. Don't let me near your granddad. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 
Leeds Lass is, is saying yes. I don't know what to. I don't. But there you go. Uh, what not to do is Colin emailed you. Yep. Okay. I will sort that out. 30th next Saturday. Well, it might be 29th then. What is? The quiz. Because it's usually on a Friday night, isn't it? All oh, right, yeah. It's, yeah, it's usually yeah. on a Friday night. I'll have to check it up on. I'll have to check it out, Justin, on Facebook. I don't know why, because you never win anything. You never do anything. No, we just have a laugh. <laughs> uh, yes, got your painters in. There you go. I knew that. I, knew, right, I didn't realise. I knew that I did one, yeah, that yeah. before. I think Leeds lost us uh, a cream with that as well. Uh, somebody didn't like that. Oh well. <laughs> uh, Spudlet, yes, painters in, and your slips are showing. Did anybody else notice on this week's vlog that Sean did it with his flies open for me? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. They were open all the time. I could I, I could have told him, but... But he didn't. But I didn't. Yeah, just, I didn't even notice it when I watched it back. Uh, Sue. Sue Bates, my cousin. Hello, painters in. Got the visit and shop shut. <laughs> oh, I recognise that uh, photo. That's when me and you went to see Abba, isn't it? You'd uh, got a pint in front of you. you lush. Princess Script, Colin, what's your favourite quote from The Simpsons? Ah, oh, uh, right. I think there's a few. Yes. I think the one where they get snowed in the school and then Principal uh, and then Principal Skinner uh, has to get nibbles. Uh, and Principal Skinner gets basically put in a, in a bag that they keep all the basketballs in. And at the end, Nibbles, the hamster, is in his ball and Principal Skinner says, Nibbles, uh, come and chew my ball sack. <laughs> Uh, so that's a that's a favourite. Uh, oh, there's so many. There's loads. There's so many. Uh, oh God, what's the other one? There's loads. I like loads of them. Oh, you've put me on the spot. There's loads. There's there's quite a few. I'll probably think of some more anyway. Uh, Brenda asks, "Have Colin and Sean corrupted you, or is it the other way around?" Uh, it's definitely the other way around. It's definitely the other way around. Yeah. Another one, Catherine. We're definitely taking credit for all we're these. Def yeah, we're definitely taking credit for all this. Four ninety nine a piece. <laughs> That's nine ninety eight. We are, they are always. It now. is. Uh, Princess script is all oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching Stingray on Talking Pictures on TV today. Okay. Sandra, right, Mike. It's all happening. There you go. You see. They'll all unsubscribe once this vlog's over. Yeah, they will. They'll wake up in the morning and they'll be back down to 806. <laughs> I bet you. We know the bees are doing well, but how are the hens doing after winter? Oh, they're doing good. They've got plenty of fresh straw and all that sort of stuff. Food, stuff, yeah. It's just, we need things to start growing so they can... I'm going to move them in the spring, aren't I? Yeah. To give this chance, the one that they're in at the moment, to grow back. Been like the Battle of the Somme. So much mud. Yeah, it has. Uh, Thomas says that leaving one zipper down is another sign of ageing. Well, it did actually start as you got older, didn't it? It did, yes. Uh, I was impressed how the bees pulled the plastic fondant wrapper through the hive. They they actually do. They did. Uh, yeah, that was that. was that. Was that. It's definitely them. Yeah, it's just, definitely them. Can we ban him now? Yeah, let's just he ban won't, him. He won't let's know. Let's just block him. He won't know. Uh... I was totally innocent before I met these uh, plastic fondant wrappers. <laughs> there we go. That's that's the one we wanted. Uh, Homer Simpson having a crayon in his brain. That's not a quote, though, is it? That's no, it's not. That's an episode. I'm trying to think of the the, the, the best quotes, and I can't I can't think of them now. I'm gonna have to move my legs, my left leg. So I'm gonna get another drink. Do you okay. want anything? No, I don't want another oh, drink. And I'll let you. them out for a. I'll let the boys out for a wee. Okay then. Oh. Uh, just watched the new Doctor Who trailer with the sound down. All I can say is, hmm. Mm. Well, I got that impression from the last one, to be honest. Yeah, I did. Uh, so I'm going to give it a watch and see what happens. Yeah. Colin, could you use a water wheel in the drain to make enough power to run your train barn? No. Uh, a few people... Oh, sorry, my back's really hurting. A few people messaged about the, the drain, the burn that runs through the croft and suggested that we use it as some sort of hydroelectric thing. We can't do it for quite a few reasons. Uh, so the main reason is that a lot of the year, there's actually little, if any, water running down it because it does dry up sometimes. Uh, even during the winter, it can be just a trickle that runs through there and nowhere near enough. 
so when it is working, if when there is a lot of water, uh, the amount of time that there is enough water, it wouldn't be producing enough to offset the cost of setting it up. It's a long way from the house, so the cost of running cables and things like that would just be way above what it's worth. Uh, and the other reason is, is planning permission. You just can't get planning permission for things like that because it isn't just our land. It crosses uh, somebody else's land. So it's just there's so many reasons why it can't be done. Uh, but it's a good idea, but, uh, but yeah. Hi guys, from Tina and Dave, joining you in Bridge North in Shropshire. Uh, John, Homer Simpson, children are our future unless we stop them now. Yeah, I remember that one. Steve Fisher, Doctor Who, went downhill after Tom Baker. He was my, he was my Doctor Who was Tom Baker as well. Uh, Marge's gambling addiction episode. Again, not a quote, is it? That's an episode though, is that one? I think, uh, I think she was talking about quotes. Uh, Wicked Lizard, could you use a windmill to generate electric for the barn? Well, that's a, a, a weird thing because if you, I don't know if if I've shown it, but up at the apiary we have, uh, up near the apiary there's a barn and there's uh, a wind generator and a couple of solar panels on that, which charge up some batteries and that runs uh, a little bit of power for lights and stuff uh, in that barn up near the apiary. Uh, so you can, the thing with wind turbines is that they're quite noisy, so we can't have them near the house because you do tend to hear them, and it is windy a lot up here. Uh, so not only do you get the, the noise from the fan, but you get a humming from the vibration. Uh, Ollie's here. You get a humming noise from the vibration of the pole that it's attached to. Hello, Ollie. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Don't go clawing my T-shirt. We've talked about this, haven't we? We have. You can have cuddles, but you can't claw me t-shirt. Eh? You all right? What's up? Come here, then. <laughs> eh? Oh, dear. Are you waiting for Otis to come back? We'll see him, then. Uh, so, yeah. So, so no, to be honest, uh, it just it wouldn't work. You should use Sean on a giant hamster wheel to generate electricity for the bar. I'll tell you what we could do. We could hook up like some sort of wheel to his cross trainer, couldn't we? <laughs> Save all the power in a big battery. <laughs> uh, I just lost the dog in the dark. The joys of having a mainly black-haired hound. Oh, I hope you found him. Uh, I'm Tina, back. Tina says, I haven't laughed so much in months as I have tonight. My depression and anxiety is bad, but proud of myself today. Went and got my hair cut. Oh, I hope you look nice. Congratulations. Look. Oh, it looks lovely. It done. It's just a tuh. A tuh? It's just a big tuh. <sighs> oh, Ollie. Because Ollie was in here. Oh, was he? Yeah. Just once I'd like someone to call me sir without adding you're making a scene. Yeah, <laughs> I know that one as well. What's that about? Simpsons. Oh, yes. Uh, solar and battery storage is realistically the best option. It is, but to be honest, uh, for where the train barn is, uh, we actually have electricity in there. Yes. The cost of putting solar power to run the barn... Right, let me start this again. The cost of putting solar power to run the barn isn't cost effective it's not cost effective way not cost effective if we were going to do solar power and battery storage we have some south facing land that we could put a lot of solar panels well I say, I say a lot probably about uh, 50 square metres of solar panels yeah. uh, to actually run the house and go back into the grid so that's what we'd probably do if we were going to do it <clears throat> at the moment we are completely skinned because obviously we've got the wedding we've got the barn conversions we're still paying for the bees from last year yeah uh, I've, I might have a, a, a hospital thing that I might have to pay for and we've got my sister visiting in the spring so that's going to cost us yeah so <laughs> at the moment it's <laughs> It's kind of low down on a list, and I know it's I know it's I know it's 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 genuine to say, oh yeah, but you'll save money on electricity, but we haven't got the outlay to pay for a huge solar system and, and batteries and everything like that. But That's right. It, it's if we could, we would. But we if we were going to do it, we're not just going to do it for the barn. We'd actually do it for the whole house. Yeah, we would. Because the barn already has electricity connected to the house, 
So it's more efficient to actually run the whole house and then the barn as an offshoot of that. There you go. Morning from Sydney. Too early to function, but I had to join and say hello. Oh, good. It, it must be... I don't, it's tomorrow there already, isn't it? It is tomorrow. Uh, oh, yes, the dog came back. I shouted her and rattled the bonio box. Oh, right, yeah. We did meet her outside milk and honey. Oh, yes, we did, yes. Yeah. Uh, Princess says that my chickens are molting at the moment. They're self-conscious. Really? Do, do our chickens molt? Uh, I haven't noticed that they do. I've not seen any feathers about. No, I haven't. Well, that lemonade with real lemon in it is beautiful. All I did is I got a glass of lemonade and squeezed a whole lemon's juice into it. Oh, did you it. squeeze a whole one in there? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, what are you doing on there? Nothing. I'm just opening it up. All right. I can't. My pass password is wrong. Uh, yep, living in the future. 7.30 on the 24th. Oh. Do you know what gets me? If it's like, I mean, that's like 11 hours ahead of us. Yes. It's... If they're, if they're 11 hours ahead of us, why can't they just tell us what happens in the future? There you go, Michael. Tell us. I'm right, though, aren't I? Yeah, you're right. They're living in the future. Dwayne says that your northern latitude would solely be a problem in the winter. No. No, because we're, we're not high, but we're about 35 to 40 metres above sea level and we don't have any hills in front of us. We're actually quite near the coast. Uh, south facing. So, yeah, so the sun basically would go... It's low, but it, it follows all the way around, and we see it all day. Yeah. Well, e even, once it gets up. Even in the darkest days of winter, kind of January, late December and into January, we still do get the sun. Yeah. While it's up. I mean, on, on, only for like five or six hours a day, but it's it's there. Uh, but yeah, it's yeah we'd get it no problem. There are other houses around us that have got a lot of solar panels, and it works really well for them. Some of our neighbours have got solar panels. Yeah, some of our neighbours have solar panels. Yep. Hebridean wooden boats. Hebrides wooden boats. He's going. We uh, shall get. We'll be in touch. Lemonade is best drunk with whiskey in it, and no lemonade. Yeah, but I can. I'm on some tablets, and I'm not allowed to drink, otherwise I'll die. It's like you and chocolate, Justin. It's a no no. Luckily, we get less than an hour of sun in December. Really? Lucky. Oh, yeah, lucky. We get... So I thought I said luckily. Oh, you must be further north than us, then. <laughs> a lot uh, further north. Tina says, I honestly relate to a lot of things that you say are in your head, Colin. Your thought process makes so much sense. It doesn't to me. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> Lie. It doesn't. You still want to be in me for a day. <laughs> if you were, I would you, not know. If you were, I would not want to be in your head. If you wouldn't, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. When we say about in you, uh, do you get eggs every day? We do. They lay an egg every day, ish. Sometimes they'll miss, don't they? Um, they never. They didn't stop laying through the winter. They laid an egg every other day then through the winter. So they've been really good. So we would probably get. A dozen and a half a day, won't we? Mm. Yeah, a dozen and a half eggs a day, easy. Uh, Blue Jay says it stays long, light longer in Scotland in winter, and then he think he's no thinking of summer. Yeah, in the summer it does. In the, in the summer, summer, yeah, it doesn't get dark properly, does it? It never really gets fully dark, but the sun is up till I think in June. It's up till about it's gone half past ten at night, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's after half past ten at night when it sets. Yeah. We've gone to bed with the sun coming through. The side of the house, the dining room window, aren't we? Yeah, and it's up longer in the Orkneys and the Shetlands. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, not further north, mountains to the south. Ah, right. I see. A few magnets and stuff and you can generate... We were talking about generating electricity off you using the cross trainer. Ah, right. Yeah. Like a, Well, actually, just... Get the batteries going with the cross trainer. Just in sand, kind of put it across as like a hamster wheel. <laughs> It's not funny. He <laughs> thinks he's funny, but he's not. That was funny, to be fair. <laughs> Shaking the gents' anxiety can be very cruel. Best thing is a loving and supporting family and a group of friends. Yeah, anxiety is very cruel to you, isn't it? It is a good thing. I think, uh, to be honest, I'm going to disagree with you, but not entirely. Uh, 
the best thing for some people is a loving and supportive family and a group of friends. Yes. Uh, I think, again, it, I, I, I touched on this earlier, it's different It's different for different people. So for me, the best thing would not be loving and supporting family and a group of friends because uh, I don't mix well with people and I don't really get people. So but he does get love and support from family, though. Yeah, but you? that's not the best thing. No, it's not. I think the best... Sometimes the best thing for you is just to be left alone. Yeah. If you That's see, right. If you see me just suddenly start cleaning, leave me alone. Because <laughs> it's like I'm cleaning. <laughs> or if you walk past him in the street and you know him and he walks past you in the street and doesn't see you, it's because he's just... He doesn't see you. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Even if you say hello to him, he will not see you. Mm. We were on. Go on, you pronounce that one. I can't see. I can't see it now because you covered it up. Ah, uh, Adam. Uh, I can't say that. Ad, Ad <laughs> I, I can't say it. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. If we were, I'd be able to say it. <laughs> uh, Jane says, what will you do with all the eggs? We sell them. Uh, I have an honesty box. Uh, so I sell them in the honesty box along with marmalade, don't I? Yeah. And the neighbours can't get enough of them. Jane, pr well, oh, Princess Script, Colin, you're too funny. He's hilarious. Sometimes you don't need people asking, are you all right all day? I do that to you, don't I? He does. You all right? Yeah. You all right? If I don't say anything for five minutes, you all right? You all right? You all right? Hey, because you get quiet. Or every sometimes everything he does comes with a sigh, doesn't it? Not just like a sigh, but like a... <sighs> That's, it's age. It's just, oh, God, I've got to do this. <laughs> Uh, Lumen Bax says, when my anxiety is high, I'm best left alone. Colin is. Mm. Right, yeah. I don't know. No, you're best left alone. You do... Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I think Sue has it just right. She says, anxiety is the devil's work. Nothing ever seems to help. That's right, because, yeah, that's my cousin. She suffers the same, yeah. Mm. Um, you did really well when we went to see ABBA. Uh, you did amazing. I was so surprised how well you did. Uh, this is Lady Unicorn. I used to wind Kev up so he would go clean my kitchen, but he figured me out. Now he tells me to do it myself. <laughs> uh, Marie says, hello, Foxes. Sorry I'm late to the party. Hope all is well. We are. We're good. It I is. hope you've got a note. It is. Uh, Blue Jay, I find the best thing is a dog and solitude as far from people as possible. Yeah. Uh, now it says, I know what you mean. I love my family, but if I'm down, I can't really cope with anyone and just want to be alone to think. This is what I'm talking about. It's just different for everybody. I yeah. don't, there's no right and wrong answer. So uh, Shaky wasn't wrong to say that the best thing for him is loving family. That's, That's right. It's not wrong. It's just different. Uh, and, and there we go. It's, it's different again for now, isn't it? Uh, Lynn says, how do you think you will manage on the wedding day? And do you have plans in place to help? Yes, he does have plans. Do I? Yeah. You mean mine and Jamie's secret escape go, room? <laughs> go to the room and that's it. Out of the way for five minutes. Uh, right. This is a weird one because... It's, yeah. It's, it's, difficult, it's difficult to explain. Uh, I'm really bad socially, normally, but there are some exceptions... It's like these live chats are an exception because I don't see any of you. That's why I'm that's why I like doing radio and it's probably why I'm good at doing radio because I don't see anybody. I just see a little camera or I see a microphone and I just talk to that and I imagine I'm talking to one person. So the the only nerves I get are because Sean's here. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Mm. Uh so will the wedding be different? Yes and no because basically the wedding is three groups of people. One are Sean's family, who I know and love and are, and are comfortable with, all of them without exception. The other group of people are 
and my friends and our friends from the canal who I get on with and I'm comfortable with and then the other group are viewers who we speak to and who have kind of asked to come and, and we're comfortable got, with and I've got tickets so comfortable as well as with them as well so Yes, it's going to... I think any any couple is going to be nervous on the wedding day. It doesn't oh, matter God, yes. if you have anxiety or not. Everybody is going to be nervous. And I'll tell you what, I'm actually more... Not worried. I'm, I'm more... I'll be thinking more about the people, some of the guests at the wedding who I know are going to be anxious than I will be about me. Does that make sense? Yeah, because we have got some... Anxious people coming to the wedding, so we are catering for that kind of thing as well, aren't we? <laughs> so that they've got Lemonade. their little escape as well. Yeah, we're doing little things for the wedding for the guests. So all the guests that have like problems with anxiety, we're having a table which is away from the main crowd. I mean, every, oh, sorry, uh, all the tables are together, but it's going to be like the furthest one, and it's actually the one near a door, an exit. So they can just stand up and so walk out if they need to. Nobody sat around them, so they're not feeling pressured, and there's a door so they can go in and out without being noticed. So just little things like that. Uh, and the castle where we're getting married, there's so many different rooms uh, where you can go. There's like lounge rooms and breakfast rooms and billiard room. And if you've seen the traitors, you'll know. There's so many rooms that that people can just escape and go outside. Yeah. So so I think it's going to be really good. Uh, do I have any plans in place to help me? No, not specifically. I can go up to, my, to our room because we're staying in the castle itself Yeah. if I wanted to. Uh uh, but everybody that's going knows me, so they're going to know. Yeah. Plus, Colin's best mate's going as well. So he is an amazing source for Colin's anxiety because when they're together, it's like the people that are going, you'll see, they're like two 12 year olds together. So I don't know how his girlfriend's going to react to that. <laughs> She'll probably end up with me, <laughs> won't she? Oh, aye. <laughs> yeah. so, because they're like two 12-year-olds when they get together. Yeah. Uh, now about question. Your marmalade is excellent. We've oh, got some thank free you. samples. When you come up to the wedding, I'll have some ready for you. Yeah. Uh, Cole, Sue is asking, can we have the handcuffs? I'll send you a pair. <laughs> I might want to give him a rinse. Have you noticed the saying, love to Pat and Eileen as well? Love to Pat and Eileen. Love to Pat and Eileen. Have you ever had a double yolk egg from your chickens? Many. Many. We have, haven't we? Yeah, Although many. Although we don't eat a lot of our own eggs. We actually... No, we don't. ...sell most of them in the honesty box to neighbours and, yeah, we and do. friends. Um, usually when we have a bit of a fry-up, we'll have our own eggs, but mm. yeah, we do have many. Tina says, I'm the same, uh, Colin, better to be on my own, can't do with people around. It's a weird thing sometimes, because sometimes I do want to be on my own, but sometimes I don't want to feel ignored. Does that make sense? I can always tell when you want a bit of a cuddle. Mm. Always. Mm. Weird one, because sometimes yeah. you do want to be alone, but a lot of the time I want to... I, want... I can always tell when he wants to be on his own. And I can always tell when he needs a cuddle. Uh, Brenda says, I found with depression and anxiety that what helps is a little dash of a lot of different things and some help at different times. There you go. That's that's different again. There you go. Uh, Alfie says, I'm a very quiet person. You will notice it at the wedding. Yeah, after after three pints of lager. He's going to be a Larry, isn't he? Yeah. It'll be, yeah. yeah. He's we're from Sheffield. We're going to have to tell the, uh, the bar, <laughs> aren't we? He's from Sheffield. In fact, I think he's driving, so I don't think he's going to be able to drink. Uh... Maybe so, yeah, unless his brother picks him up. We will talk to you because uh, we want to put you where you're going to feel most comfortable. So we're going to yeah. try and, uh, with all the seating arrangements and everything, we're going to try and put everybody with people that they'll know or easily get on with. We have an idea. So don't worry, everything is going to yeah, be Don't cool. worry, Alfie. The first thing that's going to happen is that you'll get like a 20-second hug off both of us. And then I'll tell you what's going to happen. People are just going to be shouting, Alfie! Alfie! I guarantee it. <laughs> You're famous. Yeah, he is. Uh, do we still have the Jeep? No, we sold it. No, we don't ask. A long gone. time ago. Elliot, you guys are ace. I suffer depression. Watching you makes me happy. Awesome, mate. Oh, I don't want to switch off then now. Well, we're not uh, yet. Going to the gym helps me uh, helps my anxiety distraction. It used to as me. It, me yeah, me as it well. did really with you, didn't it? Yep, it did. 
Uh, Dan says, evidently my comments aren't showing up. I can't see them even when I open a new tab or another computer. They're there. I, yep, I, I don't know where they are. I can't see them either, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Sophia says, I like to be left alone. I find it hard with people who don't understand me at all. I'm all right to be with family waiting for autism diagnosis. There, that's the thing is, is, is that people don't understand. Uh, that, that, can be, that can be hard sometimes. Katie Rich, we know you get anxious. We know you get anxious, Katie, but you're good. We've spoken about that before. Yes. And, and yes, you are late. Where's your note? <laughs> you know you've got to bring your note. We love you, Kate. Fenella says, uh, spend in the evening with Cholton and Dexter. Here's a little something for what is needed. Thank you. I th Cholton? I thought it was Cholton and the Wheelies. I thought you were going to say Cholton and the Wheelies, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, Dave's looking forward to the wedding. Awesome, Dave. Uh, J thank you, says Jason. Your vlogs make my whole week. No, he just says my week. No, he means whole week. <laughs> He'd like us to make his whole week. I know that. To the loom and back. I'm guessing. I don't know. He might be a copper or something. We don't, should be saying these things. Uh, if, Alfie. If I'm anxious, we'll get oh, to him. If I'm anxious, I feel very lonely in a crowded space, and that turns into panic. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do, don't you? I just run away. Yeah. I, I, I won't from the wedding, I promise. If you can hear banging, it's me. Uh, Colin, can I have a 35-second hug from Colin? You certainly can, mate. No friction. <laughs> Uh, my anxiety did two things. Saw two shows, felt really good about myself, felt more comfortable around situations. There you go. Uh, I go quite quiet, I do, when I get anxious or scared. Very high chance that I'll have a seizure, so I won't be able to go. Uh, yeah, it's, mm. that's, that must be terrible. Uh, Alfie Barlow will sit anywhere. So if there's any offers... <laughs> Well, careful, Alfie. It's after. It's not. It's nearly after nine o'clock, isn't it? It nearly if, is. if you're watching this 15 minutes later, there you go. Uh, Lynn says, "I would love to give you both a cuddle, but would hate to make you feel." Oh God! Oh, no, he give us a cuddle. Loads of cuddles. As long as you haven't got COVID, you can have a cuddle. Yeah, you can have a. Anybody can have a cuddle. Yeah. Uh, do either of you have relative or really bad body odor? Relatives in Canada, I do. Or really bad body. Odor. If you've got really bad body odor, don't <laughs> give us a cuddle, because then we smell of it and people think it's us, don't we? And we don't have spare outfits. Mm. We'll have to take a bottle of Febreze just in case any stinkies turn up. That's it. Um. I do have, we do have a, um, a Canadian relative. Oh, back. yes. My cousin married a Canadian. They live in Bahrain. Oh, right. I didn't know he came yeah, from Canada. He, yeah, 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 he comes from Canada. Yeah. Yeah, so yes. Alice Holes, you're both a lovely couple. You both deserve each other. Well, somebody actually shouted the last part at us, didn't they? <laughs> you deserve each other. Yeah, that was it. Were it my mum? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, love you too, guys. Love you, Katie. Uh, Inver Coffee says, struggle today, but your live feed has picked me up tonight. Ah, you do a lot of travelling, Inver Coffee, don't uh, you? He, do he does. I always look at his photos. Yeah, I do. Uh, Dan wants to thank Colin for Mind Station. I listen to it when I am writing my novels and short stories. Awesome. Uh, do you have the Aurora tonight? We don't. We've not it's had cloudy. a lot. It is very cloudy and very windy and raining. It's raining. Uh, but we haven't. They, they keep going on about twenty twenty four being like the, the the maddest year for Aurora. Yeah, we had it a couple of weeks ago, about two or three weeks ago. Yeah, was but it? not not but it, well, good. Yeah, we had. Yeah. To say it's supposed to be the best year ever, it, it's not so far. Three months into it. No, it's not. Uh, I knew you'd say that, Jason. Uh, I don't think my anxiety will be a problem at the wedding because the other guests are so understanding. I think you're right, Graham. Yeah, you're right there, mate. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Sue. Uh, waving. The waving to Kevin Quest. Sue. <laughs> I must admit, says Mrs. Lady Unicorn, I have a house full of ADHD, autism, and anxiety, and there is never a dull moment. Each and every one are different, and sometimes I wish I had a magic wand. Yes, I can imagine. I have something very similar to a magic wand in my special cupboard that makes me happy, don't I? And it is called a wand, but it's not magic, it kind of vibrates. Do you wish you had a magic wand sometimes? That you could wave and make me not anxious. Not anxious? Mm. But when I do wave it in front of you, it does make you not anxious. <laughs> so why is it when I talk about stuff like that, you look at me with complete derision? <laughs> derision. But then you're allowed to talk about it. 
<laughs> what? Are you feeling no, uncomfortable? No, I'm not feeling okay. uncomfortable at all. I just, I were in that position because I couldn't, I couldn't turn back <laughs> round. There you go. Anyway. Oh. Just remember, everyone at your wedding is there because of a mutual love. I the, hope so. Or they just want to see where traitors is filmed. Yeah, they just want to see where traitors is filmed. Yeah. Uh, Colin wouldn't be Colin without Sean, and Sean wouldn't be Sean without Colin. You are so right there, Jennifer. Uh, Alfie will sit with Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie's waiting until after nine before he replies to that, I think. Uh, my thoughts with you both, guys. I hope you're having a smashing day, guys. We will. We will yes. have a smashing day. We've got to have a smashing day. It's cost us so bloody much that we are I love are the colour of your hair, by the way. That is I wanted to dye my hair that colour, didn't I, once? Yes. And he wouldn't let me. Yeah, love the colour of your hair. When I got married, you worried about everybody else. It's about you to... You will have an amazing... Time. I know, but it's true, but... you do worry about everybody else, yeah, don't you? Yeah, we, we're already worrying about everybody. Yes. Uh, Cal Stevens is laughing at He's something. He's laughing at something. Yeah. Karaoke blokey is very late tonight. We're just about to go as well. Yeah, you are. Well, we've only got about ten minutes left, karaoke yeah. blokey. Uh, Lynn says the Aurora watch has just pinged on my phone. Has it really? Uh, uh, let, let me check ours. It's pinged on my phone as well. Has it? Yeah, Amber Alert. Let's have a look out. It's up at about 120. Oh, that's not very good. But it's not very honest. good anyway because no. it's cloudy. Yeah, 120 is not very good. Let's have a look. Yeah, because there's these things called NTs, which it's like it's how it's measured. Uh, a good Aurora is at least sort of three, four hundred. An amazing Aurora is like 500 plus at the moment. When, it's when about you look at the ovation's good though. That is a good ovation. The, the ovation is good. It's yeah. right on Scotland. Yeah, it's good. As you can see. Yeah. Uh, but Ms. it's cloudy. Mrs. Lady Unicorn's laughing. Alf is laughing. Kate is laughing. They're can't, all laughing. Can't say that. I think we're on about the magic wand. Aren't I think we? we are. Yeah, Harry Potter's got a magic wand. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Jermaine says yes, Aurora tends to be pretty active at the peak of the 11 year sunspot. Uh, which is what we're close to. But I agree. It's just, uh, it's just not, it's just not that, not that good that yeah. often. To be it honest, it needs to happen moment. soon because otherwise we're not going to see it through the summer. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, slight aurora in Ullapool, but very cloudy. Is yeah, it really? It, it is here. It is here. To be honest, uh, Vivian. Hello. Hello. Thank Vivian. you for the super sticker. You are ace. Thank you. Uh, Justin says, uh, we'll get your Pingu full back tattoo design, Colin, in time for your no, wedding. No, he's not having Pingu. He is going to come to you for a tattoo, though, aren't yeah. you? I actually want, we both want the date of our anniversary. Not the date of the wedding, the date of our original anniversary. But we don't want, uh, like... The date in like English yeah, identical tattoo in in English letters and numbers, and we don't want it in Roman numerals because we were working it out yesterday, and 1990, this long. 1993 is about that long, so we, we're trying to find and we don't want the Arabic things or Klingon or anything like that. No. So we're trying to find a way of getting our our anniversary. So we need in, your thought in something small. Next time we see you. Uh, let's just show you this. Uh, oh, there's the Aurora. Th so there's the Aurora warning that we get, because uh, I know some of you are interested. So the green bits are where it's there's basically nothing. The yellow, sometimes you can see a faint little bit of green, like you do in the in behind the graph. Uh, so the orange is where we get a ping at 120, because it's um, over 100. If it was a clear sky, you would be able to see that. Yeah, but the really good ones come when it goes over that red line at the top. Uh, which it still might, to be honest, because it, yeah, it, it could kinda, still go above. It climbs up and then back down again. There you go. Uh, Mrs. Lady Unicorn says, uh, on your wedding day, just go and enjoy your day. Everyone around will sort themselves. Oh, you can't do that because it's... We, we, no, we can't. We've got to make sure everybody's all right. Yeah. Best day of my life when I married my Kev. Tell you what I am worried about is not spending enough time with everybody because I'm yes. going to be spending a lot of time with Jamie. Well, you haven't, seen, you haven't seen your mate for a long time, have you? I haven't seen him for ages. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a long time. So there you go. And he's a good lad. Mm. Can you wish Charlotte a happy birthday, please? Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Charlotte. Charlotte. Happy birthday. Do you know what we could play? We haven't got a happy birthday, but we could play the outro to What's in Colin's Bin. <laughs> Happy, 
Happy birthday, Charlotte. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Uh, get them in sign language, says uh, Painted Matter 2. Uh, I don't know what sign language. Watch it, Mrs. Sisters again. Uh, we were lucky the other night. We had an Aurora. We had a Steve. We've had a Steve. We've had a we? Steve, yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we've had a Steve. We've seen it once. Is yeah. it once or twice? Yeah. Once. Twice. Twice. Karaoke blokey. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, you missed us. You missed us. Well, we're still here. We're, we're, still... we're here for a few more minutes. Yeah, yeah. we're still here for a... Uh, uh, yeah, we're all right for uh, a moment. Lynn Bishop says, I had a magic wand, but we had to send it back because it knocked the enamel off my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty. I don't get that. Lynn, you, can you can't say that. Can you explain that or send a photograph? Send a photograph. Can we do photos on here? No, we can't. Change your profile photo and it'll show up, won't it? You don't get... You do get that. I do get that because it's happened to us, <laughs> hasn't it? A few times. No, we doesn't. Look at my teeth. That's why they're not level. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, get the date in symbols that mean something to you both. Or like weather symbols. Weather sim weather symbols. I'll have a northwesterly gale, force 12. <laughs> what will you have? What's your favourite symbol? I've no idea. <laughs> I'd have to think about that. What about this sort of symbol? You could have that on your back, couldn't you? That'll wake him up when you walk in doctors, won't it? <laughs> oh, that's making me back uh, stop now. Stop making him laugh. I don't know what Mr. People are laughing again. What about a clock face with the hands at 8.33? That would be 19.93. Seven per I, we'd have to explain it to everybody. You'd be, you'd been drinking again, haven't you? You've been drinking bloody canal water. I know. Bloody hell. What about, about eight? That be ninety. I don't even understand it. No, no. Eight thirty-three would be twenty thirty-three. I'm gonna. Do you know what I'm gonna? I'm gonna say if you know near Pat, go round and sort I'm gonna him block out. Him. I'm gonna block him right now. <laughs> I am gonna block him right now. <laughs> Gosh, you both. Well done, Lynn. I, do. I, I sometimes look and think. Uh, my daughter, my mum turned down a date tonight so she could watch you two from... Oh, my goodness. Really? Oh, There's something no. wrong with you. No, you've got to go on a date if you get a date. If you were hung and clean, you've made a big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the shipping forecast? I'd be Dogger. Who would you Dog. be? <laughs> yeah. Who would you be? <laughs> what the hell is that? Dogger's a shipping forecast area. Is it really? Yeah. I think it is. I'm not, I hope I'm not making that up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Google He's that. He's googling it now. Dogger shipping. Yeah, it is dogger shipping forecast. Yeah, it is dogger. I never knew that. It's Google. You had to Google that. There you go. Look, if you don't believe me, dogger west or northwest six to gale eight at the moment. I did not know that. <laughs> there you go. So, which area would you be? <laughs> no idea. You you spring these questions on me and I have no idea. <laughs> I don't spring them. The, the, the viewers spring them. I just, oh. have a, I just have a quick mind, that's all. Uh, it's mine and my dog's birthday next week. Uh, Snowflakes is the 28th and mine is the 30th. Really? Happy birthday to you both. Are you the same age, do you think? I don't know. Probably not. It de well, it, it depends how well, old the dog is. She doesn't look very cause... old, does she? No, she doesn't look very old. Look, I would say like just gonna times it by four. Is it four for dog? Late teens, early twenties. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What well, happy birthday happy to you? Happy birthday, Katie, and your dog, Snowflake. Uh, greetings from Vermont. Hello, Damien Buckley. I like that name. He's got a Buckley's a good name. He's got a CD look. Uh, record each other saying the say. Oh, he's gone. Record each other saying the date and get a sound wave tattoo done. That's a good idea. It is, but again, it's, you kind of look at it and think, what's that? Yeah, but yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. We need it to be sort of obvious, don't mm. we? Yeah, we do. Uh, what about in Scots or Gaelic? Scots Gaelic? Um... Could do. 
numbers are usually the same in whatever language, mm. aren't they? Yeah, it used to be dog land. Really? Yeah, I think that's where our mate Tom goes a lot, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a, a really big. La- it's like one of these laybys that's not just. It's like it like goes really away from road, doesn't it? With lots of trees. Him. Yeah, Tom, his other half would be thinking, "What the hell's going oh, on?" Oh God, here? yeah. No, we didn't mean that, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Our mate I... Tom, his other half, is called Tom. Uh, Dogger Bank off East Anglia. Well, East. That's oh, is not, that that's what a, it is? It's actually not far where the, from where they live, is it? East Anglia. Uh, no, it's not actually. Yeah, yeah. It's about an hour on bike it's away. Probably where Tom goes is at the Dogger Bank. Probably is. Ah, there you go. How? D- how do you not know that, Sean? I'm not sure you were actually in the Navy. I was a chef. I was a chef. I was tucked away in the galley. <laughs> uh, there you go, Raheem. Snow- I'm wishing you happy birthday. Snowflake will be eight and I'll be... 29? T- you don't look 29 in that photo. You don't look 29 in that photo. Hang That's on awesome. Minute. Hang on a minute. Cause I don't... You don't look 29. No, you don't look 29, you don't Katie. Look 29, love. I like doing these because it's like. <laughs> Have you done yet? You should see it from my point of view. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Have, have you put Raheem up? He's, he's wished yeah, Katie I happy did. birthday. I did, yeah. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, tattoo the tattoo the date in a barcode. Sean would be crommity. It sounds like crotchety. I think, I think, I, th- I think, I think. Oh no, what is it? I, I did, did, did. Crommity is not far from us. Yeah. No, I know that, but he says it sounds like crotchety. It sounds nothing. Wayne, it sounds nothing like it. <laughs> Didn't we ban him five minutes ago? I think we banned him five minutes. Can you ban him again? How has he just gone? For dogs, it's seven years to our seven one Seven years? Year. I didn't yeah. realise it was no, sat I, yeah. four. Yeah, I did it. I thought it was like, yeah. What about Braille numbers? No, because then you've got to explain it again. Well, you'd have people feeling you all the time, so I'm having that. <laughs> I think I'll have that on my inner thigh. <laughs> I can have that on my inner thigh, can't I? I'm sure Justin will come up with something good. People will walk up to me and start stroking my inner thigh and say, oh, your anniversary is in 1993, <laughs> uh, Gabby's gutted because you missed her introduction comment. Really? I don't think we saw it. I don't think we saw it. I'm go- is, I, I is, can that, go- is, that, is that Gabby? I can go back to the beginning. And Mackerel I, cat. And have a look. Uh, I don't see anything. I'm, I've gone right back to the beginning. And I can't see anything. Sean's looking as well. You can probably see my eyes scanning. And there's definitely nothing. I, 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 uh, no, that's Cheeky Monkey. Uh, I thought I saw something then, but no, I didn't. Don't know. Uh, they have been drinking uh, yeah. of the Spudleys. Uh, Shannon, what whiskey are you drinking? I like my... Oh, so they're not talking to us. Get lost then. Go away. <laughs> uh, chef, not a bleeding meteorologist. <laughs> Correct, Dwayne. <laughs> Do these glasses make things look bigger? Says Jim Bone. <laughs> Sean, we now see what you have to put up with. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. A QR code to your privately shared wedding video. What, on a tattoo? Oh, a Absolutely tattoo. not. I feel like I keep people coming up to us in McDonald's, won't they? Scanning us. Yeah. yeah. How many people shared your wedding night? <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? There you go, look, here she is. Here she is. Oh, she, there you I don't are. Know what she's, what are you I didn't crying realise for? that were you. Why what don't you? you put mackerel cat brackets Gabby? Because people don't want the real names on there, do they? That's why they do it. Well, we've already said it's Gabby. You're starting to slur now. No, I'm not starting to you slur. You are, and you're slavering. <laughs> I can always tell when you I'm add not, too much because you start When I to walk slaver. out of the club like I did last time, you need to worry. Yeah. You never had any intention of sleeping with me tonight. Using my bad back as an excuse, it was just because she wanted to get wankered on whiskey, wasn't it? You can't say you that. Can say it's five past nine. Sue, it's Sue, five past Sue nine. Sue Kenny, tell him. Thank you for another fantastic Saturday evening. I think Raheem's wrapping things up for us then. I'm not ready yet. Are you ready? 
I, I can go on a little bit longer if you want. Yeah, but, I'm all right. Uh, you're normally moaning at me at this point. I'm just pinching his leg. Ow! I didn't mean that kind of moan. I meant more of a... Uh. <laughs> No, we're all right for a little while. Why not get a compass with the date on the middle? Where would it point? I'd have mine. Oh. Mi I'd have mine on my belly button, and it pointing south. <laughs> <laughs> then, when we're in bed, sometimes on a night, you can use it as like a guide as, as a to guide. where you're going, can't you? Oh, yeah. you're naughty, you are. Uh, she did. I don't know what she did. What did you do, mackerel cat? But what did you do, Gabby? She did. Uh, Alistair Holmes is off to have his bath and make some tea. Have, oh, a, thank have you. a nice bath. Uh, Princess Script can't wait to go back to her happy place. Uh, wish you wish luck. Got a nice guy who's sweet on me. Good luck. Look after him. Oh, Alfie Barlow says Colin can say that after nine o'clock. Okay. Who's time? Are you going to time us 35 second cuddle then? No, you can cuddle him as, as much as you want. I don't care. I know where your heart is. How tall are you, Alfie? Because I don't like cuddling people who are a lot taller than me. I feel a little bit intimidated. Jamie's taller than you, isn't no, he? No, Jamie's exactly the same height. Oh, is as he? Me. Oh, yeah. I thought, all right. Same height, same shoe size. Yeah. Yeah. But we have 20 second cuddles. Ours is minimum. Yeah, you do, don't you? Ours is minimum 20 seconds. Uh, it's when you can't walk out of the club that you need to worry. That was last time. Or get carried out. That was last time. Or kicked out. That was last time. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Hancock says, fantastic, best part of the week. Uh, Craig is giving a thumbs up. I don't know why. We are going to wrap this up now because we've, we? done, we've done over two hours. Yep. Yes, we have, haven't we? Yep. So we've, we've, it's, we've done us, Phil, now. It crosses the community service box. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're community not supposed to talk service. about that, are we? Uh, right. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to get a tape measure and measure myself. On that note... <laughs> Alfie it's after nine o'clock <laughs> uh, I've been full of anxiety hiding away you've have made me feel loads better tonight thank you guys our pleasure it's always our pleasure always a pleasure thank you so much as always for joining us uh, let's wrap this up with a few things just questions that we've missed people asking stuff uh, we are releasing two more tickets for the wedding if you want to come to the wedding Whoa, uh, then uh, you can scan this barcode or go to foxesafloat.com forward slash shop and there's details on the wedding packages if you still want to come to our wedding. Go, on, go there, you know you want to come. August. If it shows as sold out when you're trying to get an invitation, try again in a couple of days and try again every couple of days because we do release some tickets every now and then. Uh, so if it says sold out, just keep trying uh, and you sh you might get one. Uh, so you can scan that QR code or go to Foxes Afloat forward slash shop. Does it depend if they're a traitor or a faithful? <laughs> uh, you can also get a guest from a far, a far package. So this is if you can't physically make it to the wedding, but you still want to see all the wedding photos and the videos. Get some uh, souvenirs from the castle, and a uh, book. like menu cards, get a photo book, get access to all the photos that all the guests are taking. Uh, again, foxesafloat.com forward slash shop or click that QR code and that will get you there. <laughs> Uh, if you uh, want to help us out with something from our wish list, uh, which helps, it's basically things like chicken food and beehives and Sherlock food and poo bags and stuff like that for the dogs. Somewhere. Stuff to help us out around the croft. Uh, you can scan that code. That is our Amazon wish list. Uh, and I think that's about it, isn't it? I think so. Uh, we'll see you on Friday for the vlog. We'll see you next Saturday for... Is it? I think it's the Easter live chat. Yes. Next Saturday. I think it is. It's the one where the clocks go forward that night. I know that much. Have we got to stay on an extra hour? So we, No. We go, <laughs> we'll be in bed within five minutes of it finishing. <laughs> uh, so have a lovely week, uh, weekend, whatever you're doing. Uh, we'll see you next Friday for the vlog. And then next Saturday for the live chat. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye-bye. Ta-da.